Hello, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome to another episode of War of the Shattered Sun. We're back! It's us. It do be Hello. us. We be back after a bit of a small hiatus. We, uh... We missed a couple weeks. And more importantly, we, we missed you gamers. Hello. Hello. Hi, Nug. <laughs> Nug just bo lightly booped my knee with his head. <laughs> just like, excuse me. Excuse me. But yes, I am your humble dumble master for the evening, the one and only Poutine Pastry, Sephardic Tart, joined by my crew of intrepid adventurers. We have the Punk Yard Dogs, the CGs, the Joe Motos, the J Frost F47s, and the Wicked River 97s. Hi. Hi. We I missed y'all. I miss you gamers. I miss filling you with doom, impending dread, and remorse. Impending how, doom. Impending. How about trauma? Yes. Uh, we are missing Sarah for the night. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Sarah has started a new job recently, and things are a bit hectic. And uh, unfortunately, they're just not going to be able to join us for the night. But that is okay. We <laughs> shall make do. We love you, Sarah. We do love that, that, that Sarah person. So, with that being said, how about we go ahead and do some test rolls? I had to remember where my buttons were. Natural 20! That's a natural 20! Hey. Put, put inspiration on your sheet, bitch! All right, I'll Two do it. Two natural twenties. Nice. Yeah. Fuck it, bro. Team, let's go. Yeah, River and yeah. Joe with the natural twenties earning themselves inspiration for the night. Y'all are gonna need it. Yes. I figured. Correct. I'm the fucking negotiator. If y'all have it already, you can give night. it to Hell someone yeah. else. But I don't know what y'all have and what you don't have. So. I needed it. You needed it. Did you need it, River? Uh, probably. Hold on, I didn't have my sheet over yet. <laughs> that will help. <laughs> that will indeed help. Yes, I need it. Okay. I need it. All right. And with that, we get back to it. You find... No, I want something dramatic. Hold on. Too dramatic. Too dramatic. I should have thought of this ahead of time. I was about to say, that's some Dark Souls level shit. Yes. I mean, do you want Dark Souls level shit? Because I could give you Dark, Dark Souls level shit. As long as no. this is not an invitation. I would like some time enjoying D and D before we get to. traumatized again. Perfect. All right, it has been a little bit of time, so I don't know about y'all, but I'm I'm struggling to remember what happened last time. How about someone for inspiration tell me what happened last session? I do have inspiration right now. You can still do it and give it to someone else if you wish. I think I could. Okay. But I'll I'll save it to see if anyone else wants to go first. Anyone else I have the to? memory of a goldfish, and I also just got inspiration, so. Anyone else wish to volunteer? Okay. CG, it's all you. Uh, okay. So, in our last session, we were tasked in quotation marks uh, by Corlador to find her missing muse who had run off Juella, Corvin's old flame. Tracking them down, it appeared that they had found their way into a magic mirror of some sort that seemed to reflect your deepest desires, whether they be conscious or subconscious. Using some unknown magic, 
she was able to enter into this mirror into a world of desires. What this means, we're not entirely certain yet, but we did learn that the reason that she was able to do so is that she had acquired the necklace from Corlodora that gave Corlodora her power. In fact, making Druella, in a sense, an archfey. But that was something we would have to deal with later. We were eventually, the party was eventually able to find their way into the mirror through a combination of magical chicanery, wherein the party realized they were in Dragon's Reach, and that there was an execution pending. One for Cedric Aragorn. Turns out, we have been tele teleported ten years into the future. And that the execution was guided not just by Amadeus, the who we learned to be the traitor that we were hunting. Not only was he about to take an end to Cedric's life, but it was Ravon who was the executioner. And it was Kore and King Nexus that was overseeing everything. And with the party's attempted intervening and saving Cedric, as well as the arrival of Nexus and Kore, that is where we left off. All right, all right. That is sufficient. Go ahead and put... Well, I guess you have inspiration already, so go ahead and give, choose someone to give inspiration to. Who does not have inspiration? I think Punk I is know. yours. Yep. Punk gets inspiration. Woo! All right. They go need it. They go need it. So, kicking back off where we were last time, these two familiar individuals have now sort of drifted down from the towers above onto the stage. I need to know, right now, does anyone do any, take any immediate action? Corey, you are still in the clutches of, uh, few, of, uh, what were you, what, what dumb name were y'all calling him last time? Novar? Navor. Navor. Corvin, you are still on a rooftop some ways away from this courtyard now. Yeah, he's going to do what he can to get back with the rope. Okay. So you're heading back into the into the midst of things. Yeah. Corvin's going to try and bite Navor. That's just it. Just, just let go. <laughs> like, just let go. We're... As you are attempting to bite down on... Navor's, uh, Navor's hand. You know what? Go ahead and make me an unarmed strike. Twenty-three. Does a twenty-three hate you, Ravon? Unfortunately, no. Okay. So I'm you, sorry. you, but stupid Ravon is stupid high DC or AC. So <laughs> you. you bite down and you try to get through but you're basically biting down on a metal plate on top of this gauntlet it's not doing much and Nexus or this older more serious looking Nexus sort of looking around seeing the scene around him kind of raises his hands a little bit friends Let's not bring ourselves to violence now. Lord Sionis, release her. And Corey, you immediately feel that pressure around your throat release as you are dropped to the floor. <laughs> I must admit, this is not a scene that I had anticipated for this day. And he looks over to you specifically, Kore, as he sort as he scans the group. His vision stops on you for a moment, and then it it goes past you towards the back of the crowd where Diana is trying to shift her way up to you. 
she sort of helps you up off the ground. Are you alright? Yeah. <clears throat> Corvin, how yeah. are you descending the top of this uh, building right now? You're not super high up, but you're a little bit of a drop. If I step down, honestly, like, why why use physical effort? Okay. As you face step down and you begin sort of shifting your way through the crowd to get to your friends, you hear a voice kind of appear in the back of your head. Well, you all made a right mess of things now, haven't you? Does the voice seem familiar? It does not. If you want to get try and get a, uh, a, a sense of who is sending this message to you, make me a perception check with disadvantage. Yeah, I was actually about to ask. Perception. Perception. 11. You sort of scan around and you do not know where this voice is coming from. Don't look around. Look, it's clear that y'all aren't friends of our dear beloved ruler here. You shouldn't be here. Do I get the sense that I can respond? You do. Okay. He's gonna say... Alright, eyes forward. Uh, who exactly are you? You may call me Daniel. And I'll give you spelling, but it's not a very complex name. See, I thought I was going to be E before I. You should have made it complex just to confuse no, people. No, I'm not Jake. Like... <laughs> Shots I was, I was going to say, you're not a... Uh... You know what? I'm going to keep that comment to myself. <laughs> Look. Y'all need to get out of here. Uh, this puts a damper in our plans, but I think we can salvage this. You don't know me, but I'm gonna simply ask that you trust me. Understand that this is a very weird situation in which I don't really have any room to trust you. And that's fine. I can explain everything. But I know you and I know your ilk. Your, your friends, I should say. I know you have access, you and several of them have access to teleportation magic. I need you to trust me. When things kick off, I need you to get all your friends and head for the busted inn in Arnia. Wait, Arnia? Where... Is that on an an another continent? It is. It is in Devlar. Interesting. Hmm. Sorry, Kat was trying to uh, uh, risk her life or something. Um, <laughs> and to clarify, the Busted Inn is not in name, from what you're able to, to gather. Yeah, I figured that as much. He's going to kind of run his hand through his face in, like, a very, like, annoyed motion. We will do what we can. I can help you all out. It's gonna... It's gonna get bad, though. So do what you can and get out. For sure. On my mark. And as you're having this mental conversation with some individual you can't currently, uh, you can't currently see the rest of you. Corey, you are now on, th you have now been picked up off the ground. What are you doing? Wait, I'm sorry. I just got back. I suppose for just a sec, I got picked up. Yeah, you got picked up off the ground from, by Diana. She's just analyzing reverse her and Nexus. Okay. Probably looking for Diana, the, the older Diana. 
Okay. What about the rest of you? I mean, it looks like there's a tense standoff right now. Naturally, I think Flit would try to connect with uh, the others, especially if they've been made. Like, I guess group up. Okay. Make me a perception check, Flit. That is, I did not want to click on the Microsoft Store. <laughs> I want to click on my character sheet. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Jesus. Flit. You start scanning your group. You're trying to get an eye of where everyone is. I need to check something really quick. Actually, give me one moment. Uh. Wermst. 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 Hold on, I'm actually looking for a specific role. Give me a sec. Okay, it's fine. Can we have the map back by chance? You just for our mind theaters? Uh, you can in just a moment. Okay. Flint, you look over just in time as you see Sarah looking down at someone by their side this other individual seems to be a shorter hooded individual the two of them seem to be having a conversation and then as this is going on you watch Sarah vanish did did Sarah look like it was surprised or oh no or intentional it looked intentional especially as you see that the other individual is still here. They turn and their gaze matches yours and you see this dwarven individual. The, a sort of a shorter red beard and a couple of red dreads that come down the sides of their the sides of their face. A much deeper, like darker complexion to their face and skin. And they as you're too gazes me, he gives you a nod. Flit does not give a nod back because all eyes are on her at the moment, but she does register this. Huh. Now I will give you guys the map back. I ask for now that you guys remain in your current locations. Lily, how long does calm emotions last? Uh, like me to pull that back up for you? Actually, hold on, I can just scroll up. Calm emotions up to one minute. I would say that around this point that that goes down. Give me one moment. I'm not going to bother messing with the fucking the, uh, the icons, though. Ravon, are you still flying? I believe so, yes. Okay. You do see that Cedric is still unconscious next to you. He is still rolling death saves. Do you, you are the closest to take action. Do you do anything? Mm, you know what? I'll expend some lay on hands. Okay. How many would you like to expand? Expend. Expand? <laughs> expand. Enhance. Why is the picture still blurry? <laughs> God damn it, CG. Love his app brand again. <laughs> How many are you, handles? you expending? Uh. For this one, I'll probably say, like, ten. Okay. 
Ain't much, but it's honest work. That do be. She handles like a steakhouse. Cedric comes conscious again, and as you, as you reach out to do the. The lay on hands, you feel Valir's grasp on your hand as he, gr- like, uh, as he tightens his grip around your wrist, and the the king goes, "No, let him. It's quite all right." To where Valir growls at you, but does let your hand go, so you may apply the lay on hands. Cedric kind of <coughs> you can see that his nose from the kick is definitely broken it is spilling out blood and it is crooked you need to leave do you say anything Yeah, actually. Rupon's gonna look to him and go, Was there proof? And he's gonna glare up at Amadeus. Well, glare down at, I should say. You say, Was there proof? Yeah. I'm asking him that. Amadeus goes to answer, but instead, King Nexus, who you hear slowly approaching just a bit, just a couple of steps, goes, There's plenty of evidence that my father was the one who sold us out to Skull and his forces. Anyone who wants to roll inside can. Yes, please. I want to know if he believes this. Mm-hmm. Am, am I in the uh, in the area to hear? I will say yes. What was it that, that he said again? He said that there is plenty. There was plenty of evidence that Skull sold them, or that Cedric sold them out. Thirteen. Seventeen. Twenty. Uh. 18 for Flet. It's odd. You don't think he's lying, but you don't think he's telling the truth either. He's telling... So is it more he's telling the truth that he's he telling, believes it is? He's telling a truth. <clears throat> but he's obviously holding details. Hey, Tar. Hmm? Can I do something? I want you to be very careful about what you do here, but yes. No, It's nothing crazy. Uh-huh. I'd like to expand one divine sense. Divine sense? Sure. I, I will bring it up if you need me to. Yeah, go ahead. Celestial fiend or undead? <laughs> oh, I love I love paladins. Ravon. Yes. You ping divine sense something that something is awry, sensing that something is awry, and you expect a signature to be given off by Nexus or what you determine to be Nexus. And nothing does. However, you detecting a fiendish presence, you turn and your eyes meet Amadeus Walir, who, unbeknownst to the rest of the group, have a semblance of fire behind his eyes. Do with that information as you will. The staring of hate. Corvin, at this stage, you can move closer if you wish. 
or if there's something you wish to do, you can do that as well. Bip. 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 Okay. What about the rest of you? Are any of you doing anything at the moment? Leaning in very curiously at this whole thing. Uh, but seeing as has Corvin has kind of come closer, uh, Flood is going to, you know, ow, get okay. close as well. I'm fine. Okay. As you guys are beginning to sort of huddle together, uh, Lily, I'm going to swap you with this guy if that's cool. As it seems like that's your plan right now is to huddle together. Yep. Ro not Robon. Uh, Corvin, you get a message from that mysterious individual again saying, You're gonna have to get your friend Robon lower to the ground. Looking. <sighs> okay, so. Question, does Cedric still have those cuffs on him? He does. Uh, those are not going to work. Uh... Sorry, I'm kind of blanking on what to do and say right now. Hmm. Actually, what about Sarah? Nothing about Sarah. Oh, I thought I heard her name. I thought I did. Ignore too. me! No. Is my mic fucking doing weird shit? I didn't say Sarah. No, um, I, I misheard. Go ahead. I, mis I misheard oh. as well. I was going to say, yeah, then that's two coincidences. Anyway. It, it, he's going to... Corbin's actually going to look towards... Like he's going to respond in his mind, thinking that this is the message. Can you do something about those looks? You get a message back. I can't now. <sighs> as, as you are thinking. I must admit, I am quite surprised. I, I expected to see maybe a couple of you, but this is something beyond my comprehension. And you see the, uh, the other visage of Kore comes up next to him. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for all this. And you all see as the gem embedded in Kore's chest, not your Kore future Kore begins to glow and the eyes begin to glow. Does anyone do anything? I have a question. I have an answer. So, because of the mandolin's abilities, can I use one of its spells as a spell slot? Yes, you can do that. Okay. I count the spells given by the mandolin as spells on your spell list, so you can either do it via the mandolin, or you can use a spell slot for it. Okay, okay. Um, Corfin would actually like to try to get closer towards Ravon and have his friends kind of like, try and beckon... Uh, Flit, uh, Lily, Corey, and Diana to uh, follow. Okay. Uh, Ravon is, I believe, 30 feet up. Yes, Ravon? Well, you would have had to Oh, shit, is he? he? He was flying. He was 30 feet up, but yeah, now he's just on top of the stage because he would have had to come down to do, uh, lay on hands. But he's still. I believe, God, how tall did I say the stage? I think I said the stage was 15 feet. 
Okay. 15 feet up. Why did Ooh. Steam just open? Can you not? Hey, Steam, thanks. Bye. All right, but don't you want to hear about our summer sale? The summer sale is already yeah. done. Stop! Why are you opening? We've uh, had first summer sale, but what about second summer sale? So, I've had this before. Uh, most likely, you might have, like, a, a game or a controller or something that just, even if it's, like, minimized, uh, is, like, set to clicking or a button or something that just opens Steam. Like, I had that when I was using, uh, like, a controller to play uh, emulators. And every time I hit the I... PlayStation button, it would cause Steam to open. I don't have anything open like that. Like that open. Hmm. Uh, or anything plugged in. It, it, it's fine. I, yeah. I I went in and hard closed it and it stopped. Alright. So we're good. Uh, okay. So just for uh, clarification. Uh, sorry, Gordon. Uh, no, no, no. Go ahead. So just for clarification, the light and the eyes and everything, that's Corey uh, doing one of her one of her boons, either Legend or Commune, correct? That seems to be the case. I'll say you guys have seen it enough from your Corey to determine that. Okay. Corey, you absolutely know that that's what it is. She's just staring up at Cedric Nexus. Reverse her. Just looking all around, looking for an older Diana, honestly. Make me a perception check. Whoop. 23. There does not appear to be an older Diana. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You would have disadvantage because of the crowd. I'll, I'll say even with that, it won't matter because the 23 didn't make it. Yeah. A 19. 19. Yeah, there, you do not see an older Diana. You just see yours. So Corbin will definitely respond to uh, King next time. Yep. Oh, and what's the... Sorry, I had something, but I'm, I lost it fast. Uh, I was ho Well, we do hope to exceed expectations. Uh, who exactly do you think that we are? <laughs> oh, who do I think you are? You... Well, you appear to be friends from a long time ago. At ten years, in fact. Exilia Regalia. The ones who failed. Hmm. Friends, and here I thought we used to be family. See, you said yourself. Used to. Wait, who's calling us failures? Nexus. Nexus. It appears as that it appears as though not all of us failed. Looks towards Corey. Looks towards Robon. It appears some of them are in some very high, high positions. A few of you, yes, but only by my grace. Only because oh, and I by... had to put it all back together. It must have been really hard for you to be such a cheeky little runt now. And by your Corey grace, says, do you... Just trying to, like, smile but gritting her teeth. I got this one. And by your grace, do you usually allow failures into your inner circle? <laughs> Gee, thanks, Corbin. Every tool has their place They in fucked up, my... not us. Every tool has their place in my empire. Even you. Oh, so that's... Oh, the tools. Sounds like OCD. <laughs> ah, I did miss this. I miss your clever quips, your rebuttals. But, and Corey, you notice his eyes stop on you. 
one Rundelva has made quite the impression. Has made my reign just that much easier. And Corey, a cloud appears behind you as he poof, right behind you. You spin around and turn just as his hand comes up to your throat. I wonder what two would accomplish. And I need you to make me a, wins a wisdom save. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Ravon, I what forget. is the radius What's on your my... order? Did the I have order? wheel or whoa? I can't remember. <laughs> it was wheel. I can't remember either. Uh, I'd like to use it. Ten feet, I believe. Okay, Corey Am is I... outside of it. Am I able to? Never what mind. What just happened? Why did it do twice? Anyway. Ooh. You're probably still on uh, disadvantage. Can you do what, Corbin? No. I was gonna fuck. I was gonna say, could I get some Bardic? Could I give Bardic inspiration? But I. <laughs> not needed. <laughs> Twenty-five. As you feel this hand grasp around your throat, and you see this purple glow come over his eyes. You feel this compulsion. This sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? This draw. This I guess compulsion was actually probably the better word. The sort of new sense of loyalty towards this individual sort of come over you, but you, knowing that this is something plaguing your mind, you it takes a lot of effort, but you are able to shake it off. 25, we'll do it. As you push his hand away and you take a step back. Oh. <laughs> Must have met. I'm Thoroughly trying impressed. really hard not to be proud of you for your, music, your magic getting better than I remember, but... Can this... we just chill please she says like putting her hands up like in like a calm motion oh i'm sorry were you not the ones throwing rebuttals trying to make me look like a fool in front of my people not uh, we didn't know it was you <laughs> terrible habits if you know if you knew us that well yes terrible habits and you know what they say about habits habits die hard as a sword appears in his hand. Ravon! All right, no one now. Ravon. Yes? I need to check something. Give me one moment. I have something silly. Okay, something we'll get that. that. Okay, cool. I'll Could I send a message to Rovan uh, uh, using... In just a moment. Sorry, I'm having to look something Okay. Up. You're fine, you're fine. Rovan, go ahead and make me a wisdom save. Oh, oh no. no. Wisdom save. Yeet. 27. 27. You begin to descend towards your friends as you feel your body begin to lock up. You look over and you see out of the corner of your eyes, you see future Kore. Eyes still glowing, gems still glowing, but with a hand up in your direction. The sensation fades as well as the light from her eyes and gem. You are not restrained via hold person. While looking at her, Ravon's gonna just utter, You got sloppy. And he's going to bolt after uh, his friends to okay. grab. Me. So, uh, that message. Can I send it to Ro? Like, try to, like, as uh, Nexus is monologuing, uh, send a message to Rovan to prepare to swing and grab uh, Cedric. If you don't grab him, please don't uh, 
just just leave them because I'm about to do something stupid. Sure. So, Ravon, what are Pretty you doing? You do receive this me this message from Corvin. I need a decision from you. Okay, I have a question to ask. I have an answer. I also just realized this guy is no longer blind. Whoops. Blinded by the light. What's your question? Uh, question What's your I, question, I wanna... soldier? I have been teleporting bread for nonstop for three days. But anyways. <laughs> um, Ravon did see Cedric get pulled by the uh, shackles, yes? You would have seen Corvin attempt to teleport with Cedric, and Cedric did not go. Well, he he sort of did go, but then with the restraining from the... Yes, is the answer. You would have seen him not go anywhere as a result of the shackles. But, if... Okay, so, is there an item that the shackles are attached to with, uh... Amadeus? Does not appear to be. Not from what you're able to tell. Above game, the thing with Amadeus was purely for flavor. It They're dimensional shackles. Mm. It was just a Could... fancy way of Cedric not being able to go anywhere via teleportation. So, okay, so above game, would we know that they would be able to be dispelled then? I would need an Arcana check for that. Because above game, uh, I believe Corvin knows what dimensional shackles are because I had to roll for them last session, I believe. 32, natural 20. Okay. Damn! Yeah. I know, t I know my teleportation spells. I need to check something. God damn. Because I know they become mundane shackles in an anti-magic field. So I'm trying to see how dispel magic works on them. Anti-magic field is what level? That's like it's eight. Eight, yeah. See, I've always ruled that dis this is just me, so you don't have to take my word on it. But uh, I've always said that... Uh, for, like, inherently magical items, you need something a little stronger than just dispel magic. Otherwise, it's a good way to get your all of your party's really cool gear just completely disenchanted. Yes. Uh, I I do agree, especially because I now see this one thing from Jerry, Jeremy Crawford that basically saying that dispel magic does uh, does not inherently work on does not work on inherently magic items, but magical effects. Not even if, if I cast it at a higher level? Uh, at that point, that would be DM ruling. Um, I'm trying to think, just because we're getting into... We're getting into semantics with this one, so I'm just Yeah. Thinking. Theoretical also, hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, I think I've read somewhere that the uh, that you could dispel, but it only lasts for like twenty four hours. Yeah. Um. I'm going to say. I'm going to say for now, and this may change further down the line with research, I'm going to say for now, no. All right. If... <sighs> Unfortunately, there's no way to break them out, so... Just because if I were to allow that, I would also have to allow, say, uh, Marissa or someone being able to, to dispel Raikiri 
and I don't think that's fair. <laughs> For example, please not send away my friend. Okay. Upon learning this, Corbin would tell Ravon just to just to come back. We can go. We can deal up with Cedric later. Okay. Ravon, are you returning to the group? Yeah. But he's going to take one last look at Amadeus. And he's going to say in Celestial, I know where you are. <laughs> no. You're going to die. And he'll just fly back home. Okay. I will say as you fly to your group, you all are within 10 feet of each other. What's the plan, gang? Is this above game time? This is above game time. Because I think I know what Corvin is going to do. Oh, I want to confirm. Time. I want confirmation. I vote, as someone who has seen what's going on, and someone who saw tele uh, Sarah get teleported the fuck away, that we are... that I am going to stay by Corvin. I, I, anyone against us just getting the hell out of here? I hate that we have to leave Cedric, but honestly, this same. Is, this I, is really, I, this is really bad, and it sounds like we officially have gone from, uh, hey, let me explain to you're going to enslave us now. Yeah, because. Uh... I literally try to look at every angle of this fucking puzzle box that is fucking Cedric's shackles, but it's it's not happening. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're... I think we're G GTO. Huh? Yeah, we, we kind of shit out of luck here. I hate it, but I have to accept it. it are, it's... We, are we just doing a Guardians of the Galaxy? We're just yelling incoherently as we leave? No... <laughs> It's not uh, you. We gotta go uh, save our version of us. Bye. I, I was gonna say I do. Just kind of, as Ravon gets within ten feet of, I guess the cube of teleport. Uh, Corvin is going to look towards Nexus. Very disappointed, uh, look on his face, and. Just shake his head. Wow, my voice meter fucking cut out at the worst fucking moment. You're good. Just gotta look towards him, shake his head, and say, Your mother would be disappointed to know that a tyrant was raised in her household. Eighth level teleport. Okay. As you say that and the spell begins to take hold, you hear him go <laughs> as he slowly begins to raise his hand. My mother would be incredibly proud of me. And then you see as there's Not the snap of a of what sounds like a crossbow and a bolt pierces through his hand. Oh, shit! As a number of crossbow shots following that descend upon into the ground, into the crowd, striking the guards around you. One, another one comes towards Nexus and he, with his, this huge black blade, takes a swing at it and, like, strikes it out of the air. Rebels! Kill them all! As so, the... mostly just so he can get the last word in. Corbin will look towards him. Not the corrupted version of her. As with that, the spell can This is hold. not- this is not the baddie that bagged a king! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sorry. As the spell takes hold, and you all vanish from this, Ravon, the last thing you see is 
your other version of you slowly turns to you and just looks you dead in the eyes. But with that, you all disappear. As around you, as the scene sort of, as you all disappear from this, in the audience's perspective, a battle has broken out. Individuals have poked out from the towers above and have begun raining down crossbow bolts upon this execution. A single dwarf individual shaking his head disappears from the crowd in the cloud of smoke. Cedric slowly begins to crawl to his feet and is stopped by Amadeus. A nexus quickly returning to Kore says to her, Alert the hunters. And with that, we disappear from here. Our scene shifts and we leave Austerios for a new location. Corbin, I presume you are taking your friends to Arnia. Yes. Okay. Damn, I should have said not what she became. Damn it. <laughs> it's all good. You all arrive in the city. Sorry, I said Arnia. I meant Onira, but you know what? Arnia works. <laughs> it actually works better. As you arrive in this, the familiar city of Arnia, you all look around. You can see that the town is at peace. Something less menacing. Yes, please. Less <laughs> menaced. <laughs> You arrive at a, a den of the undead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You arrive inside of a fog-covered city. You arrive inside of a Tarrasque. You <laughs> arrive inside of an empty Kmart. Oh, that's spooky. But as you all appear in the middle of the city, you look around, you take count of your numbers, and you notice that you guys are short one. Sarah. Who, from the Wait. last time you, some of you saw, had disappeared into the crowd. Uh, was she not within ten feet of me? Where is she? Somewhere she wants to be. I don't, I'm not exactly sure, but I saw, what was it, a, she was being talked to by a, a, a dwarven individual and she was teleported away somewhere but not surprisingly uh, she wanted to go dwarven individual that that might make sense I was I was spoken to in via message by somebody named Daniel and told us to come here to Anya. We we're supposed to meet them at some broken down inn. Glad that we were right on the... I'm glad my intuition was right then. We... My eyes locked with the... I, my eyes locked with this gentleman, but it's not like we talked or anything. I guess I just had to take a leap of faith. Uh, where are we, though? Kind of looking Audio. around. Huh. What's the immediate environment look like? The immediate environment is actually what you guys are familiar with. It's a it's a bustling uh, port city. Uh, as I mentioned before, this was a this is a good tourist destination. So there are a number of people kind of wandering around looking uh, in a word lost, but good kind of lost. 
Mm -hmm. You do see, though, as you are walking around, the guards here are wearing the same sort of armor that you saw on the ones in Dragon's Reach. We should probably find a place to lay low. Okay, I guess I'm going to go look for a place to lay low. <laughs> Everyone go ahead and make me survival checks. Ooh, boy. Uh, 19. 16. 4. 10. Wow, we not not good rolls across the board. You guys, Except Lily, Lily did well. Lily did do well. Yeah, good job, Lily. You guys are not super familiar with the with the city of Arnia. You spent some time here, but not enough to get familiar enough with the city to where looking for a broken down inn uh, is a simple enough task. You guys spend a bit of time. You are a little lost, frankly. And you get the impression that word may have gotten out quickly as you do begin noticing the odd gaze and look from the city guards. Um, as we're traveling, I would like to uh, use Alter Self to shapeshift into uh, my tiefling form. Okay. Easy enough. I guess my question is now, are you guys attempting to remain hidden? All right, great talk. Hello? I'm, what? I'm waiting on everybody I'm else. I'm thinking, I'm waiting. I'm trying not to just I'm jump on dumb. it. I'm dumb, I don't exactly, know Exactly, like, works. I don't. What, I don't I know that we're really, if we're teleporting away, honestly, I don't feel the need to run, like, and hide, I guess. I mean... I'm kind of in a grand spree. We have a, probably, I don't know, two, three hour window. And, because, like, we don't, we didn't say where where we were going. All we do is just poof. So, as far as Asterios knows, we're out. Right. So, I don't think we need to hide ourselves. Not yet. I... True, need, but we don't he, know if they have got, you know, spy networks in their own fast travel. Uh, that is, I mean, that is valid, Find but that would still probably take... Then, bitch, I'm blue. Well, <laughs> that would probably still take <laughs> about a couple hours to, uh, to uh, do. Also, I got something in case we all want to uh, disguise. Yeah. What you got, bro? Seeming. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. This I like. Are you going so, to, are you holding on to it or are you going to cast it? Above game, I'm waiting to see what everyone else has to say. Okay. It wouldn't hurt, considering it lasts for eight hours, and it's Ye not a concentration spell. Yep. Yeah, the fact that uh, this is kind of all over the place, and, you know, we're currently definitely fugitives, I wouldn't say no. It may be our best idea right now, especially since we are fugitives. How about you, Punk? Punkles? About what was oh. the question? Are you in favor or of a disguising up? Yeah, definitely in favor. Okay. All right. So Corbin will definitely cast seeming then, if everyone, since everyone is a. Uh, in a grants. Okay. Uh, nothing really too fancy. Corey's just gonna look human. 
uh, but, but with blue hair. Lily's going to uh, be a little bit more muscular, also a foot taller. Flit is going to have a big old moustache. <laughs> On top of the, tiefl the tiefling form? Yes. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Wait, wait, wait. Rovan is going to... <laughs> okay, I... I, I okay. I will. I will say this mostly just because they're they're looking for a Goliath. He's gonna make Ravon a little shorter, but about as bulky and with the fucking longest forming golden blonde locks, looking like the PC Master Race guy with how bulky he is. <laughs> like the hair's flowing in the fucking wind. Oh Almost Jesus on command. Christ! Did you just make me Fabio? Yes. Thanks, I hate it. Uh, Corvin, nothing, nothing too fancy since we're trying to be inconspicuous. He's gonna look human. The jawline's definitely going to be a bit more rounded. He's gonna look a little, a little bit more pudgy. Um, he's also gonna have uh, da -da -da -da, fuck it, brunette hair with a nice little beard. You want fuck it? He's gonna look like me. Let's fucking just do that <laughs> shit. Then. And thus. All the characters look like their players. <laughs> I don't have blue hair. Fuck you. <laughs> so hey guys, being a guy is hair. weird. Have you ever noticed that? It's weird. <laughs> wow. Well, cool. With the cast of seeming, you guys are going to uh, forego your stealth checks. So good check, guys. Which is good, because it takes you a lot longer to find the inn than you originally anticipated, but you guys do eventually, after like about half an hour, you do come across what appears to be a broken down inn just on the outskirts of, uh, just towards the outskirts of the city. You think this is the place? By the gods, I hope so. Actually, he's he's gonna say in a shifted up voice. By the gods, I hope so. <laughs> um, he's gonna call out, Daniel. Daniel. So you're just calling out Daniel while it's standing in front of the building. Just confirm. Uh, he's gonna call. He's gonna say that and kind of follow up with. Daniel, your mom's looking for you. The hide and seek is over. The, this isn't funny anymore. We gotta get you home. <laughs> Make me a perception check. Come on. Come on. Perception. In fact, anyone who wants to go ahead and make me a 18. perception check. Thank you. I will do this. Perception. 22. Mm. Three. So close to that nat 20. Does everyone Daniel? could do perception? Yeah, yeah, anyone who wants to. Who is this Daniel, and why is he back at it again with Vans? 15. Dirty 20. You guys begin sort of looking around as Corvin calls out for someone named Daniel. And you... You all do see a couple people who kind of hearing the shouting kind of look over to your group and you see a couple of them kind of get a bit worried because it's it's given the impression that you all are looking for maybe a lost child. And so you see a couple of them kind of muttering amongst each other. You even see one guy who kind of like sweat, like wipes sweat from his brow. You can probably determine that maybe his name is also Daniel. But no one seems to take significant notice to your group as in response to that name. Oops. <sighs> Alright guys, we probably just need to head on inside or something like that. We gotta find this guy. Do you all wish to attempt to head inside? I'd like to see if we can get away from prying eyes before we do. Okay. 
to, to clarify, no one's, like, staring at y'all. It's kind of like the rubbernecking of, like, you know, someone's looking for somebody, and so a couple people have directed their attention momentarily. Oh, okay. But nobody's, so, like, nobody's, like, eyeballing you guys or staring at you now. What, Nug? He... There was a dog, however, who was boofing at you guys. Buff. 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 Hey, I'm looking for a Daniel, too. He's a Cocker Spaniel. Uh, yes, I think we're going to go into the inn. You guys approach the inn, and you do see that a few, the windows are boarded up. Uh, the door appears to be... Uh, rather than locked, it appears to have boards around uh, the handle. If you guys want to look for a way in, go ahead and give me uh, investigation checks. Natural one with two, two, 13. 12. Apparently Corvin's modifier. Being, Corvin, you are being accosted by this dog. Uh, 15. Okay, you're, you're cute, but please leave. 17. Rovan, as well as Lily, you guys kind of are like, this is a perfectly good end. Why would they board it up like this? And then you kind of begin kind of looking over the door, and you notice that the boards on the door, upon a closer inspection, aren't completely nailed to the, to the wall. Upon further inspection, it actually looks like the nails that would be going into the wall have been shaved down, giving the impression that it is. Uh, th giving the impression to the outside viewer that it is nailed down, but in reality, is not. You get the impression that if you were to just unlock, uh, open the door and go in, it would open. Hmm. gonna go over to that because that's very interesting and he's going to uh he's gonna try doing the old opie opie okay open sesame sure enough you turn the knob and the door opens right up like i said you look at the back of the boards and the points on the nails are indeed shaved off huh. quiet door kind of looks to the group that's pretty neat Mm -hmm. mm. And just opens the door and lets people in. Okay. As you guys begin to enter, most of you would be in, begin to hear the sound of conversation a bit deeper in. More importantly, those with higher perception would be able to determine the source of this location, which seems to be coming from under the stairs. The inside of this inn, it's not a terribly large inn, and it's kind of like bread and <coughs> bread, bed and breakfast style. It's not like a tavern. It's just like a home that got renovated into an inn. A larger home that got renovated into an inn. So you do see as you kind of go in, it is sort of just like perhaps like a living room or something that got turned into a quote unquote lobby as well as a desk over by the stairs and behind the desk what appears to be a door. Shall we? May as well. I don't know if this is some elaborate trap or if we're getting to a safe house, but truth be told, I just want to have a little bit to kind of gather my thoughts after all this. Uh, I'm in slight agree. Sorry, what? That's it. I'm in a slight agreement, but we are nowhere even near our destination or for our goal here. And we have more concerning matters that have also just popped up. I'm not saying that we take an hour, but it's... We need to... We were dropped into 
a whole lot of nothing nonsense that we had no idea about. We need to collect our thoughts. Figure out what's going on. I just want to get this over with. And let's check this place out, see if it's safe. If it is, we'll rest up. Yeah. Okay, so I guess uh, going into the, the door, that is kind of hard to miss. Upon opening the door, you hear from the two individuals inside. From one of them. God, we down! Oh! Oh! Oh, it's just you guys. As you see inside what appears to be Sarah, as well as this strange dwarven individual. One of which none of you recognize, except you, Flit, who you saw in the crowd in Dragon's Reach. Oh, good. It's you guys. Uh, I'm glad, glad you're here, Sarah. Yeah, um, that was a weird experience. I think I was trapped in a marble for a little bit. Kind of slightly looks that over to Daniel. Hey, it works. You know, I can't really argue that. Oh, well, I'm glad to see you all got out. Oh, all right, come in, come in. And you guys kind of shuffling into this room notice that this room in particular is a lot bigger than you may have originally ant anticipated. It looks like it was a closet, but they like dug into the dirt and actually dug out a whole like living space in the floor. Hmm. You can see it's very impromptu. There's a couple, like, like crates of supplies, what appears to be food and resources. There's a, There appears to be a couple of, like, uh, sleeping bags that have been sort of rolled up along the side. It seems like almost like, like a secret shelter of sorts. Oh, you're doing a lot with a little. <laughs> the best we could do nowadays. Well, you all take a seat. There are probably a couple chairs around here. Uh, just slumps into one of them. But it'll take a seat. Ravon will take a seat, pull out the alchemy jug, pass around some nice warm cider. As you all kind of shuffle into this room and you get a bit comfier, this individual goes, So, this is certainly odd. Exilia Regalia, back again. We never left. Well, you're partly right. Well, we've kind of left somewhere. We've been given a gist of where we have possibly been, and I'm frankly just too annoyed to really delve deeper into it. Hmm. It looks like we're in the future? The future? Really? That's what you're gonna go with? That's the last thing that we were doing. Um, we were at the Benefit concert that you put on, Corbin, right? Yep. And then this whole line of... Uh, I'm not sure exactly how far I want to go into details here. And then we were messing around with some weird magical item, and here we are. Like, 
as you as you're kind of stammering around and you look towards Corbin, he definitely just has a uh, done with this shit look on his face. The benefit concept, huh? You see, he kind of strokes his chin a little bit. And you guys getting yes, a better was... look at this individual. You can see he has very like simple clothing on. Like he's a bit, he's a little dressed up. He has like pants. He has like a vest on with suspenders. And you can see that now without this hood, he seems to be magically inclined. As you can see, he has a spell book at his side. Does this spell book look familiar? Make me a history check. Anyone who wants to. I'm gonna do that. Twenty-two. Mm. Natural 21. twenty. Eight. Yeah. Fourteen. For anyone who got over twenty, this spell book. Looks familiar? But you're not entirely sure why. Stab in the dark, does it look like the vault? No, it doesn't. Would it would it look like we belong to a former Vanahir guard member? Make me wisdom say it. Or Vaughn. Wisdom save? Uh, wisdom save. okay. Uh-oh. I don't like this. That's not good. No, that is not. <clears throat> 22. 22? Okay. Oh, You're gonna take one psychic damage. As... Vague visions begin to come over you. You see battles. You see your inevitable conflict with the Hellfire Assembly in the future. But battles that you haven't yet participated in. And you see this spellbook. The spellbook now looks fine, but this memory you have of it it looks damaged, scorched. You're not entirely sure why. Ruvon's gonna to answer your question. Yes. Oh no. Sorry, headache for a second there. It looks awfully familiar. And he kind of just points to the book. This little thing? Yeah, um... From an old friend of mine. When he was no longer around anymore. In fact, I... your friend. Uh, Mr. Akasa. Oh no. What? What Wait. happened? What? Same thing that happened to everyone else. Things went south. We failed. Maybe. What do you mean? What did we fail? Let's. Let's go over from the beginning. We've got a lot of. A lot of ground to make up. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys are really confused, and I would love to stay for a conversation. But I need to make sure that you guys weren't followed, that nobody's on to you, and I need to make a call. So you guys stay here. I will be back, I promise. And then I will answer any questions you have. But right now, I need you to stay here. Sound good? Insight. Insight? Roll insight. Anyone who wants to? Yeah. 27. May as well. 21. Why not? 
13. Mm. Nat one. <laughs> Heaven and hell, baby. <laughs> 21. Everyone except Ravon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a struggling, desperate man. If he was going to lie to you and sell you out, he would have left your asses there. There's no reason this guy should would be lying to you. this point, I think this is the safest place for us right now. Just I'll be back in like an hour. Help yourself to the rations down here. Help yourself to the cots. And just take a breather because I'm sure, I don't know how long you guys have been here, but I'm sure this is a lot. Oh boy, it is. Yes, it is. I'll be right back. And he flips up the hood again and kind of tightens the robes and he leaves you guys. You can hear... You can hear him lock the closet door behind him as he leaves. But you guys could already tell. It's a simple mundane door. If you really wanted to break it down, you could. Mm. Easily. So, regarding that whole situation back there at the air, execution site. Nexus. This is Diana. And Cedric. I can't even imagine what happened. It doesn't help that there's. He's surrounded by people, and one of them's a fiend. Literally. I'm uh, sorry? What? Amadeus. I thought ne I, th I was thinking maybe Nexus had some dark energy into him, so I tried probing him with some divine sense. Amadeus, however, was the one that radiated fiendish energy. Flames. Right behind the eyes. Oh, that's an interesting piece of this puzzle. It would explain... It would definitely back up the uh, fact that he's the uh, traitor. Well... I have a feeling that it's going to be similar to the... Uh... Oh, what was that one's name? Uh... Uh, the, the one with the, the one at the temple. You know which one I'm talking about. Nithesis. Nithesis, yes. Wow, I am horrible at names. I wonder... Go ahead. Go ahead. I wonder if... I wonder if it's someone who's actually pretending to be Amadeus then. The fiendish energy would be very easy to track, wouldn't it? Unless they had no reason to track it. I guess that's true. On top of that, they could technically hide in plain sight. What, did Nidesis took on the form of a, what, tiefling? Tiefling, yes. When I re oh, that... tried sensing them out, that came back. I just thought it was normal. To be fair, she was a she was a tiefling, but she was turned into some sort of fiend or devil. General Valia has been serving this country for years, decades. He was serving under King Rexum before Cedric, and hell, he was serving before I was even born. Wait, listen. I must admit that he does look surprisingly good for his age, but I guess that 
makes a bit more sense now. But he's been serving for so long. Why would Cedric have any reason to doubt him? That's hold, true. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said he served Rexon? It, it is the previous man before Cedric, yes? Yes. Why did he stop serving him? Above game, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, did... Did he just, like, swap sides after the deposement, or...? He just started working for Cedric. Of above game, the... The surrender... The surrender of the throne to Cedric was very amicable. Okay. Also, cut him. Or at least it was on paper. Smile. So... He served the prior thing even... Okay, okay so I know it was peaceful, yes, but... Was there ever... Any problems before that? I don't know. Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Rex Rexum is not someone I was familiar with. And, well, Valir is not someone that I often spend time around. Well, he's been serving for a very, very long time. So, how... Would he have been serving before the Hellfire Assembly would first have appeared? I know they served during the war. But at this point, we can't rule out how long the Hellfire Assembly has really been around. Exactly. So it's possible he's, possible he's just meant to be a, a long-term sleeper agent. Or, it's also entirely possible that he, uh, got replaced. Maybe even a bit of both. Perhaps he even got corrupted. We've seen how the Over. entire assembly has been able to corrupt those that we once saw as allies. That's true. Let's not forget, uh, both Ariana and Aurelia are in various stages of corrupted. Ex uh, that's... Ariana is... a unique case, and Aurelia... that... she wasn't really corrupted, she was raised after her passing. Is that not still a point in the corruption's she... favor? It's not really corruption when you're forced to come back from the grave. I'm unsure now from some of the things I'm I'm really unsure how much corruption played a role in I'm sorry Dan I'm not sure how much corruption played a role in Ariana not Ariana um Aurelia it's Flit kind of gives a an exasperated sigh that's I think that's a conversation for another time it begins and ends with the knowledge of Argomancy corrupts. We should get back to our current situation. We know, regardless of the what corruption is, or corruption replacement, uh, deep sleeper agent, or what have you for Amadeus, the point is, he's the traitor. And, moreover, Remember what Cedric said? What he tried to do? Do you think yeah. that's what? Do you think that's what he's doing right now, back at in our time? Corey's head kind of slumps forward. Yes, I have a feeling that's what's going on because he said he was doing something dumb. I'd, I'd ask you both to be some sense to him, but I feel like you're going to be needing a whole month's worth of work on that front. On top of that, we don't know how, if it's just Amadeus or it's those surrounding him as well. 
For all we know, whatever guard might be surrounding Cedric could also be in on it. I... That is something interesting that, interesting that I didn't ask. Walir was without his chroma guard. His what? His chroma guard. The, uh, the three colorful individuals that usually follow him around. You guys uh, will remember that he did have three uh, armored individuals who would follow him around. One red, one blue, and one purple. Hmm. Uh... Are the Chroma Guard adept at sniffing out any kind of extraterrestrial, extra dimensional entities like Ravon? I'm afraid that's beyond my knowledge. It's. If that's the case, that would explain a lot. But it would also. If he had them and then got rid of them, that would give more credence to the idea of a replacement or corruption than deep-seated agent. But... Perhaps. Speaking of corruption, we should probably address the two elephants in the room as she looks at Kore and Rovan. What? Yeah... That's something to talk about, too. I... Corey's just kind of like that half like wilted, like... I currently don't know of anything going on. And... That was really worrying, though. Nexus reached out and said he wanted two of you. What did he do to you? That runt has some cheek on him. I want to punch him a little. Can you please explain? Cheek, what do you mean? He was, you... he was a sassy little shit there in the square. Yes. You all heard him. Yes, but he said he wanted two of you, as Flit mentioned. Did he try anything? Something with I don't know, something... His magic was like purple. I don't know. He tried something... I think it was a charm spell. But I'm mm. not sure. That reminds me. Do you think that's why that Cory was weird? You, you. All, you all watch as Diana throws up her hand and she casts the spell magic on Kore. Kore, nothing happens to you. Kari just looks at her, blinks a couple times. What I had to make sure, right? We don't know what we're dealing with. Uh, Are you messing with my sheet? Oh, did I mess with you? I might have accidentally opened your sheet. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I was making sure. <laughs> I, meant to, I meant to open up Diana's sheet. My bad. No, I was just like, sorry. it just blinked to my spell I'm sheet. Sorry. I was like, I. I had to laugh at that. No, sorry. I meant to open up Diana's sheet. <laughs> oh. Ironically, Kago, are you fucking with my shit or are you fucking with my sheet? <laughs> fucking with my shit? Yo, what's up, God? Sheet. What's good? I mean, I, I fucked with your sheets once already. You don't want to fucking go, God? Anyways. Uh, also, the other one, and he kind of points to you, Cole, right? The other you tried to cast a uh, hold person. Do you know that spell? Sorry, my push to talk key is being stupid tonight. Yes. Okay. Evil you is very sloppy of magic. I think that might... I'm thinking... Based on what Nexus said, and the fact that Corey didn't say anything that whole time... Uh... She's... He said, tools are welcome. He might have, I think he might have brainwashed you. Would that make my magic 
shittier if if someone tried to compel someone else to do magic? No, that's not how it works. Y mm. Your power is your power. Perhaps Bravan is just more... Resilient. Re resistant to mind altering effects. Just uh, mentioned that Rovan rolled stupid high on that save. Yeah, that, that's what I that's what I was saying. <laughs> in I know. You you remember I'm not the bright one in this group, yes? I am dumb. Oh, yes, but yes, I know. Just because you just because you are not intelligent does not mean that you are not wise. Gifted in other areas. So, Ravon, let me introduce you to this TV trope, the idiot savant. Now, the idiot savant <laughs> is... <laughs> we love that trope, man. I love you. I love you, CG. I love you. Never change. But... Oh, no. Happy. It would make sense. He put a lot of value on your skills as a rune delver. And he... That dropped everything to get you again. Ten years is a long time. Cord just kind of puts a hand over the gym. Oh. Yeah, I would... There's no library with history books or anything that would tell us why he's such a little asshole. Well, perhaps when... Perhaps when our dwarven friend returns, he would he'll enlighten us. Yeah, can we go that... over, over that for a moment? So we're, as far as we're able to tell, ten years in the future. Cedric is now a war criminal. Nexus is now king. Apparently the war is over, and we as a group apparently failed. Hori is like now evil and potentially a mind slave. Rovan is evil and now potentially a mind slave. Also, this is Sarah going over this, by the way. I don't think. Okay. What does... Like, ten years is a long time, but what could any of this <sighs> mean? If this is the future, what what happened? How did we mess up? I have an idea, and I don't like it. I really do not like it. Cedric pulled off the plan- uh, his plan, yes? No, he didn't pull it off, that's well, why he was in, I, the, in the shackles. Yeah, I know, it failed, but he still attempted it. Based on, uh -huh. what, based on what Cedric said, he went th through with his plan, hoping that we would come around and guess figure out who the traitor was and I guess we never did this is what he gets for not telling anyone anything which means that the entire military command has been supplanted of the kingdom meaning someone else potentially threw us at different things yes realistically what were we want planning on doing were we were want hmm I would hazard a guess. We were probably, after learning about how Cedric was a bonehead, probably going to go and try and save him. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to test something. I can do it later, I guess. All good. She wanted to test the Sending Stone, honestly, just to see if it would <clears throat> talk to this Cedric or her, our, our Cedric. Um, but I guess I could probably just ask you, God. You could. I would tell you right now for free. It would not work because Cedric is not in possession of another Sending Stone. Fair enough. <gasps> he left it! He doesn't have anything on him. He's a prisoner. Yeah. yeah. No, not this one. Oh. Yeah, be if gotcha. I'm reading into... I was going to say, if I'm reading into it correctly, we would reach the Sending Stone in this timeline. Or reality. Yeah. Alright. So, Cedric's plan fails. We try to go save him or something. And 
from there everything falls apart. Realistically, we either went to go save him, we went into some combat, and we got wiped. And only two of us are currently accounted for. I don't know what happened to you, Kore, but I got a bad feeling on what happened to me, and that involves death. Corey frowns. You're thinking that you got something similar to what the what's going on with uh, Ariana. You remember what I made a promise about? Mm -hmm. Which so you so you killed Bison? No, <sighs> no opposite God Corbin. Then why are you wearing his armor? I don't think need the armor anymore if maybe he's at a different position. That makes but... sense. Using the oath as your leverage would would explain why you were a lot more vocal than Kore. And would explain why you're still alive. In fact, that leads to the question of what happened to the other members of the Vanadir Guard. Probably dead or enlisted with the new monarch, or shall I say, new tyrant? That's something I wanted to bring up too. The way that Nexus was talking, I don't know if this is the truth or if I'm reaching or anything. The way Nexus was talking, it sounded like we failed and then he immediately began to pick up the slack. Nexus is what, eight right now? Correct. Yes, he's cute kid. Yeah. Don't you think that's a little fast for someone who's about to pick up all the pieces? Yeah. Diana, your stupid secretary gave me court reading books. The procedure would be he'd have someone watching over him, right? That would normally be the case, But he's yes. in charge. If that's the Did case... Did everyone get wiped out? If Nexus got a regent... That would explain... That might explain a lot. Because I think we're all in agreement here. Something happened to Nexus. Like, we messed up. Yeah. But something happened to Nexus. It's really bad. Do you think that his mother actually got... Uh, implanted her own holds into him? No. Co Corey, you mentioned that he had some purple energy. That's the same color that... Aurelia was using for Argomet. Knowledge of Argomancy corrupts. Speaking of which... There's no Aurelia. And also... As far as, far as we know. Uh-huh. And if we lost... Wouldn't the world kind of be in, you know, on fire more so? Like, actual on fire because we lost and that means you know who got out? You mentioned that he had to step up. That he had to put things back together. What does that mean? When I prodded him about his mother, she said he said that she would have been proud of him. I'm thinking. Hmm. I think the Hellfire Assembly lost, and uh, let's going to put air quotes around that. I think they lost the battle, but they're winning the war through Nexus. Normandy might be sealed away still, but I think Nexus might just be ruling the world as Normandy did would have, at least at their at their eyes. I didn't sense anything off about him in terms of you know, like Amadeus, but that's a good point. Before we go any further, there is one thing I think we should probably do when we get back anyways. Circling it back to Amadeus for a little bit, 
and I want to get back to Nexus. I really, truly want to get back to talking about Nexus, but I just don't know if... I just don't know... I don't think we have any real concrete info about that. We're just speculating. But I do know... I do know this. If Amadeus is the traitor, which it sounds like he is regardless of circumstance, it sounds like Cedric is about to pull off a boneheaded move. If we need to weasel out that Amadeus is the traitor, we have a heck of a of proof, but not real proof. What do we do say when we go to arrest him? Ah, we went to the future and you were totally the bad guy, and that's your that's why we're sticking you in a cell, vaunted general who is leading the troops. Well it's not like we can pull future him into past. No, that's Could not we? the way to go about it. No. The best Don't think about it like we're trying to trying to cheat anything. More what can we do when we're out of this? And I think we need to get we need to start actually looking into him and looking for proof. We could look for some proof uh, in his quarters or something like, like that or Oh, one of my personal favorites, plans. We could neg him. I think we need to get we would need to get Corvo in on this too. Best to get a, an actual detective, right? It would also put his mind at ease and e as well as uh, cease the, the uh, suspicion amongst our our own group. Exactly. Diana and I could look around the king's study and some other areas with the council chambers. See if you can find something too. First, we have to get back, which I guess brings us to this. And on top of it, we also have to warn Cedric not to pull off this plan. Something tells me he's already about to pull the trigger on that one. I think, uh, Diana, it seemed like you were going somewhere with a, a train of thought. Well, until we finish our mission here, there's not much else we can do, right? Yeah. We gotta figure out where Druilla is, how she fits into all of this. That's she good, created good this, didn't she? I don't know. The mirror specifically says it gives you the it gives you what you most desire, what makes you happy. This cannot be what she desires. She doesn't even know half of these people, any of these people. That might not be that might not be because of her. Remember, the mirror shows you desires whether they're conscious or subconscious. So clearly there's some sort of magic that weaves uh, around that single goal. And so, so if, that's, if that's the case, then it may have simply created the world where her desire was filled, put her and in just it, and reenacted everything that, off the back of it. Exactly. This world is a result of whatever she wished for. Why would she want us to? So we failed just off the back of that result. I hate butterfly effects. We need to find her. Why would butterflies affect this? I'll tell you when you're much, much more intelligent. I'll tell you when you're <laughs> older. Ow. I'll tell you when you're smarter. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> we both know that is not Your brain has to develop before. That ship has fucking sailed. <laughs> <laughs> that hamster yeah. is currently <laughs> sipping Long Islands in fucking Guadalajara. <laughs> All right. That fucking that that hamster is currently on a smoke break forever. All right. Above game. Gone forever. Is there anything you guys want to discuss? Anything else you guys want to discuss before Daniel returns? Uh, so this is something that I wanted to bring up just kind of like above game. Yeah. Uh, so do we have like, do we know how time works in here? Well, go ahead and make me 
Anyone who wants to, go ahead and make me an Arcana check. Aka. Do I get advantage because I'm, I'm, I'm a fae and I do with timey wimey bullshit all the time? Uh, I'd say, normally I would say yes. I would they say in this scenario, no. Oh, okay. thought his minor and wibbly Eleven. wobbly would work. It's a minor 15, by the way. wibbly wobbly. You've got a wibbly wobbly timey why he studies. <laughs> Doctor yeah. Who is a cultural sensation in it the is, village, is. I right? regularly use the fucking Daleks as an example for, like, Is that an elective in art college? <laughs> That's it. Time I'm displacement? More... Probably. I'm now more surprised that Doctor Who was such a hit, yet Corbin just hates Adam. Ironic, isn't it? Fuck you, Adam. <laughs> anyway, Corbin, isn't it ironic? And Corey. Corbin, you exactly met the DC. Very nice. Oh, thank fucking Christ. You guys know that Druilla has been missing for three days. This world you're in is ten years in the future. Based on that logic alone, you can presume that this timeline you're in now moves a lot faster than the one in the, the quote-unquote real world. Ah, uh, fuck. No, that's a good thing for us. That's a great thing for you. Yeah, but when we get out, is it going to be years in the future? No, 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 no it's the no, no, opposite. No, no, no. Yeah, it's wait. the opposite. It'd probably be like a few days. Years maybe. in the future in here would be ten. Ten years in the future in here was three days in the real world. Oh yeah, we're my! Probably... That was a that, that was a Joe dump. Sorry. No, you're yeah, good. we're probably going to pop out of the mirror as soon as Nicholas sets it down. <laughs> He's just sitting there fumbling the mirror. We all pop out. He fumbles it again. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so is there anything else anyone wants to to bring up or talk about nope Lily's there pretty much Diana. just going on or going 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 with the fucking flow of things because she's at the point she doesn't know what the fuck is going on but we're here <laughs> Here we My are dude, you have been along for this ride for a while now, though. I'm still... But going 10 years into the future, Lily didn't see herself. Mm, That's one thing that... going through Lily's head now is she's... Where's... Where am I? Where I you? am... Especially because Lily knows her capabilities. That is a good question. Lily stealth, as is Sarah. Here we are in the future. Here we are in the future, and it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah, let's. I really hesitate to ask when Daniel gets back, but I think we're gonna have to pull that band-aid off when he gets back. Uh, Corbin will uh, definitely say one thing before Daniel gets back as he's surrounded by the group. Mm. I'm going to say this in all due seriousness. I don't want any back talk or anything. When it comes to Druilla, let me handle it. I have a lot to get off my chest when we speak to her. I wasn't gonna stop ya. This is your show. Yet I'm not the star. Aren't you the one that uh, Corlodora came to specifically? Let me... Let me throw vague... Vague and yet deep res responses flit to seem like I'm, you know, important or something. <laughs> fucking ruined my entire fucking reputation. Just two cool, fucking please. sentences. <laughs> no, you're not allowed. Like, you're no, right. like, he actually, he actually, he actually, he actually says that in character. Like, he's actually. Tr <laughs> he just, he just hit Corbin. Just hit Flit with the "You're killing my groove." <laughs> I'm sorry. You're killing Flit's groove. I'm sorry. 
Killing the bag, man! Oh. I don't have a lot in this fucking life, but I have that. <laughs> Alright. So. With that. You guys continue idle conversation, throwing out conspiracy theories. Uh, Flint, you throw on, like, the whole, like, tinfoil hat. You conjure, like, a board up along the wall. I was gonna say, Corbin would definitely use Minor Illusion to get a fucking, like, cork board started. It's because... not Pepe Silva, it's Norman, dear. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the mail! It's on the mail! Norman, dear! Norman, dear! <laughs> but eventually, <laughs> after Norm some time... Dear. You guys, you hear the lock to the closet door be beginning to uh, unlock as the door opens. All right, I think we're clear. What are you, what are you guys doing? Is that, is that board? Is that chalkboard? We're trying to piece, we're trying to piece things together through very intelligent and uh, thoughtful discussion. Am I my own grandmother? <laughs> Let's not worry about that. No. <laughs> Would you? Would you like some apple cider? Flint, please put the chalk down! <laughs> Let's sit down and drink some water, please. Alright. Alright. And he shuts the door kind of behind him and he comes a bit closer. Alright, well first, let me just say, God damn, is it good to see you guys. As the figure of Daniel disrupts, shifts, and contorts and turns into a very familiar individual. Is it the boy? As Adam Acosta. Yes! Oh, yes. It's the boy! I oh, thank no God. idea Familiarity. how the hell you guys got here, but who oh, am I glad to see you? Aha! Almost we get it. to do time stuff on you this time. <laughs> Indeed you do. No. Yeah, no words. Corbin, like, his eyes are widening. He fucking goes in for a fucking hug. The one time I'm happy to see you. I know you, friend. Oh. None too soon, either. We got a lot to talk about. And that is where we're going to take our break. Woo! He, he lives! He do live! He lives! Stomp, stomp. He lives! Wait. We die! Hold, hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. He's here. Where the fuck's Marissa? Smile. Just gets... Questions for later. Joe, I'm me as Joe scours the entire fucking city. <laughs> <laughs> but, gamers, thank you all for being here so far. We will be back in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. And we are back. So, kind of getting back into things. The first big thing. Since you guys have been in here for an hour having this conversation, you guys are going to get the benefit of a short rest. So, if you guys, uh... have, if you guys need to roll hit dice, if you need to get back to uh, class features, go ahead and put those down. Woohoo! Um... I think I get my face steps back. Uh, I think so. Uh, hang on, let me just go down Spell the list of my. Spell slots or long uh, rest, right? For everyone yes. Except right. Okay. Wait. Well, hold on. I, I do get my face ask. steps back. I was gonna ask. Uh, do I recover a spell slot? The warlock ones. The warlock ones. Oh, sweet, then I'll get back that fly. Have to double check because I always get this wrong. It is long rest, okay. Let me expand a hit dice. And then once everyone is ready, we can get back into it. Ooh, back to full. I will do one hit die. In the words of SpongeBob. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's a good thing I don't need uh, my hands for this discussion as my glasses have disintegrated on me again. Okay, everyone 
I'm good to go. Yep. Okay. So as we return back to our scene, you guys are still underneath this busted, broken down inn. You are now in the presence of your ally, Adam Acosta, who, you guys, looking upon him now, he is a bit older. You can see that he's got more gray in his hair and beard. Uh, you can see that the beard itself is now more of like a goatee, like a single goatee that is pretty long towards the end. You can see he's a bit more dressed up than what you're familiar with. He's got some like noble's clothing on. And as he is standing there in front of me, he goes, So, I guess the first question is, What the hell? How are you here? Going for a you, hug. you tell me. Why do you have beard? You... Friend, age agrees with you. I've always and she squeezes had a beard. the shit out of Adam. Thank you. I agree. That looks a really good look on you. Thank you. Uh. Thank you so much. Um, regardless, so you all are from the past? Is that the impression I'm being given? Yep. Sort of. I think. You know, okay. I, I think anyone aside from me would call bullshit, but you know, I'm okay with it. Well, here's the thing. We <laughs> were tasked to find someone, bring that someone in as very powerful item to another someone. That someone we tried to track into, we tried to track, and it turned out they were trapped inside of this very powerful magic mirror that we, uh, that we shunted through ourselves. So, here we are. You can see he's got, like, one finger up to his left face, sort of like, thinking, mm, mm, mm. Okay. So, existential crisis. L later. Got it. So. Um, Always. So you are given by what I saw in the plaza. You definitely are not the same one. The same exactly regalia as we have here. That's good. That's really, really good, actually. Wait, hold on. That's good. Yeah, um... Yeah, if you haven't noticed, things are a little fucked around here. <laughs> what happened? No, have not noticed at all. <sighs> totally not. I felt right at home. Where do I begin? So, I'll admit there are some gaps for me. As, you know, the whole jumping around and everything, but that's a different conversation. So... From what I was given once I was permanently tethered to this timeline. Woo, yay! Will you love that? <laughs> uh, again, another conversation. So, Cedric, as far as I am able to discern, surrendered himself to Skull, knowing that Valia was the traitor amongst our numbers. He couldn't tell you all because he and himself was being watched. You ever heard of a scrying orb? <laughs> Fucking bastards. So, the plan was get you all out there to assist him, and in that process, find out that Valir was the one stabbing us in the back. You all put him down. You rescue Cedric. Yay! Everyone's saved. Everyone's great. We move on, and then we take down the Hellfire Assembly. It didn't go that way. It did not go that way at all. <sighs> what happened was, you all went to assist, and I still don't know how, but you all were not able to determine that Volia was the one giving out information that he was not the traitor on our midst and in that while well, was able to place the blame on someone else Theon oh no Theon is a very powerful oh. individual but against your group as well as the Chroma God and Walia himself he hardly stood a chance. The has been long gone. With that, and you all feeling confident that you had determined the traitor, 
who the traitor was, fighting every able body will in my body to not say among us. Ruth. Sus. Sus. You all proceeded with your plan to save Cedric, and that in itself went terribly long, terribly wrong. There were a lot of casualties. Entire battalions of the army were decimated. Eventually, the plan came back to fall back and regroup. And in that, Folio loaded the Hellfire Assembly, and they expedited their plans. And well, I'm sure you are now familiar with our lovely new king. What happened to Nexus? That's the kicker. That's not Nexus. Not technically. What? What? Uh, hang, hang on. Let, let him ex explain. <sighs> the entire time we were fighting the Hellfire Assembly, we were on the impression that they were trying to release Normandy. We found out far too late that that wasn't the case. Our, f our biggest clue would have been Aurelia going around using her argomancy bullshit, extracting powers from people. <gasps> oh. Oh, no. It gets worse. Oh. I'm sure I you all are difference. familiar with our dear friend El Is... Nazir and his wonderful, beautiful creations known as the Orion. Uh -huh. Hybrids, if you will. You mean? Oh, you mean the? Yeah. You mean the piss that I just harass on a on a nearly appearance basis? That piss made a nearly immortal, grown up version of our dear Nexus. And Aurelia supplied him with the power <clears throat> of an arch lich, several increasingly. Powerful individuals, including some of our own friends, and Normandia. Bully him more, got it. The plan was never to release Normandia. The power, the plan was to create an eternal king who could usurp Normandia, who could hold his power. Nexus is already a vessel for this incredibly powerful. Well, power. All they needed was a little bit of blood. Oh, no. Boat. The boat. They gave Nexus back because they didn't need him anymore. Wait. What happened to our Nexus? <sighs> they probably got... I hate to say this, but they... Since they had a perfect copy... They may have gotten rid of the original. Funny thing about Aurelia, she and herself had never planned to stay around. And all that power that she had went to her new baby boy, including the ability to drain people's essence. Nexus Wait, was but so a she... child. He never stood a chance. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Wait, so, wait, why, if they need an exit, why are, why am I still around? Why is Rovan still around? Because it's what Nexus says. Tools. Every tool has its place. Our dear well, friend Elrock Nazir perfected a charm spell, his original prototype, test subject, whatever you want to call it was on our dear friend Ariana. Once he perfected that spell, it was only a matter of time before someone as powerful as Nexus was able to coerce, with air quotes, someone even as strong as you all. That means you, Corey. You now serve as... The name's stupid. He calls himself Prime. 
as Prime's immortal servant and vizier. You were enchanted into eternal servitude by Aurelia. A dog! That's bitch. And once Aurelia became part of Prime, well, that carried over. Access to the powers of the Rune Delve only cemented his rule as an eternal king. Ruvan, well. As you can imagine, with everything going to shit, it was only a matter of time before Bison got his hands on Ruvan. You could say your agreement was fulfilled. Your father decimated you. You now serve under him. You act as the royal executioner. Meanwhile, your father now rules... Your father, as well as the Sionis line, now rules over Aramor and the Divine Isles. I... I don't think I want to ask, but I think I need to ask. What about the rest of us? <sighs> like I said, things went horribly wrong. Corbin was feeble-minded by Marissa. Well, now, at home, he says with a, a, a deeply pained smile. Uh, it, do not sugarcoat it whatsoever. Just please tell me straight. <sighs> am I her place? Am I her servant? No. You're her trophy. Uh, oh, God, what'd she do to him? Feeble mind. Feeble mind. He is an intelligence yeah. of one right yep. now. He is, if anyone has seen uh, Kirito in the the two seasons three and four of Sword Art Care. Online, he's a vegetable. Care. This is, I have the spell, so we... For above game purposes. Oh, I was gonna say he's like Hodor from Game of Thrones, but even Hodor understood language to some degree. He's a vegetable. Ah! You know, I always. Oh, that's worse than being of, a pet. Uh, you know, some parts of me always wanted to be a trophy husband, but this is too far. <laughs> if yeah, uh, that was good. <laughs> uh, you guys have Wait. seen Feeble Mind before in uh the form of uh the Orions. Flint mm -hmm. Orion was put under Feeble yep. Mind. And unfortunately, because of Corbin's... Wait! Yeah, it's, it's, it is a wisdom save, isn't it? It's an intelligence save. Damn. Ten years and he didn't have a chance. Wait, so every time Corbin has to take a bath in this timeline, does that make it vegetable soup? Eh, uh, shut up. <laughs> Corbin... <laughs> Corbin... <laughs> Will go up to Ravon, not say anything, put his hand under his jaw, close it, and then immediately go back to his chair. Corbin will remember this. That's uh, Well, with no one really around to stop Marissa, she tethered me to this world where this is the part where it gets really awkward. I had little but little choice but to remarry my. Uh, yeah. Oh. You, you uh, don't have to finish. I, I am so sorry. I'm the only reason you're still alive. You know what? At that point, just let them kill me. I don't care. Well, I keep, I keep you around in the hopes that one day, when things are on the upswing, we'll be able to bring back all that bardic power you have. Uh, that has. That's every day turning more and more into a dream. I've been doing what I can to help the resistance. We, myself and Marissa, reside primarily in Onira. 
Things aren't great. Molly. Where am I? Where are you? I'll get to that last, if that's okay, Flip. Sure. Lily, you were hunted down by Oz. Surprise! Lily well, we just kind of looks to uh, looks to the ground. That means my mom as well. I'm sorry. Once Oz got a hold of you, there was nothing to stop him from destroying Dandelion. Sarah. Well. Sarah helped and... Sarah helped make sure that the rest of us could get away. You can assume how, presume how that went for her. As for you, Flit, well, you are now the leader of the resistance in this timeline. Oh. Hey, CG. Yeah? Called it. Me too. <laughs> you said Sarah, motherfucker. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, uh uh. I, you were I, dead you... fucking set. You said 100% it was Sarah who's leader of the resistance. Fuck you. No, uh. But I'm Actually, not going to argue me. because we're on stream. But I will Sarah openly Diana. say no. Yeah, so that's a good question. With, the, with Sarah able to get the rest out, Flit was able to escape with Diana, Raven, Toshi, Sindri, Reno. A few of our other mutual friends and allies, and they inevitably came via resistance. Oh. And I'll give you guys those names again. The list of those who survived. It's been a hard fight since then. Unfortunately, there's not many others around now. With Prime wielding the full power of Normandy and Aurelia Aragon and Zygmotus, there are very few capable of usurping him. And most of them are divine in nature. Wonderful. Well, because of the development of, I think he calls it p the pure blood, the Orion pure blood. No one has anything, any reason to suspect that he's anything but human. And even if they did, it's not like they could do anything about it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty terrible. I don't even know where to start. <sighs> Most of the Van Heer Guard and its affiliates were killed in what has been lovingly re referred to as the Great Confla the Great Conflagration. Oh, bless you. Yeah, I didn't pick the name. This includes allies that you all came across in your journeys as you can imagine having access to a uh, a very wise druid a rune delver even made it sing made singling out potential allies incredibly easy they even got to the likes of uh this drow named Theoden, a large wolf band named thank i have no relation what they are to you all, but they saw them as, th as threats regardless. Fang, 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 fang. 
He was uh, our guide. Yep. He was your guide. Oh, oh yeah. The one who could hit like a truck. Correct. Flit's gonna Is look. A a different number. Sorry, go Flit's gonna uh, look and then just get very. She's gonna have that very angry face. I bet they didn't even leave Philead alive. Funny thing about goblins. They are incredibly hard to track down. I'll take that. She gives a, a small sigh of relief. I guess I'm just not going to look into that any further. I'm going to believe about, what I want to believe. What's about Oxus? Oxus has been an instrumental part in the fight back. His wares have be proven extremely helpful time and time again. Whew, that's good. Uh, that's good, too. He was one of the first that they went after, but... As we are well familiar, he is resourceful. He is good with his hands. Bless Arxis. There are a few others who survived and are now fighting amongst the resistance. Then there are a few who weren't so lucky. As I mentioned before, the Vanihir God and many of its affiliates were killed, hunted down for sport. Your dear sweet Ara, Corvin, is now begrudgingly working for her aunt. She's hoping for finding a way to save you. Deep breath in, slow breath out. I ah, yes, are twitching. Fire assembly now pretty much controls everything. They've even gone as far as to manipulate historical knowledge and shape the very fusion of Vanir, or at least that's what they want us to believe. Still, if that were true and they got away with it, it wouldn't exactly be a rebellion, would there? That's the kicker. The Rebellion is the one last symbol of hope that this world has at fighting back against the Hellfire Assembly, but that fight is getting increasingly more difficult. But, perhaps with you all, maybe we can turn the tide a bit. Right. Here's, the, here's the thing. There it is. We're not here to usurp a, a king. We're... We need to go to Navillas or somewhere wherever Druilla is. <laughs> oh! Great. Druilla. You mean the new Archfey of Navillas? Yeah, I saw that one coming. Yeah, well, I think yeah. we all saw that one coming. Yeah. yeah, she's basically the reason that the Hellfire Assembly was able to get so far ahead. What? How? Yep, yeah, uh, saw that one coming too. Damn it! You can imagine the things you're able to do when you align yourself with an archfey. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, Diana, I owe you a silver. Here, with let's. Help, with the help of the Hellfire Assembly, Drula was able to take Corlodora's spot, and in exchange. The Villas is on Hell Hellfire Assembly's side. Meaning... Is it... The place is basically locked down from anyone not within the Hellfire Assembly's employ. Is it in the same place? <sighs> I wish I could tell you. The presumption is yes, but honestly, who fucking knows? I have no idea what Drill has done with any of that city. Like I said, I it's locked down. Alright. Cards, you're shared so much with us, so let's... I think it's fair enough to just put cards on the table, yeah? 
looking on over to Corvin. He will uh, use kind of he, he 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 will use minor illusion to kind of create a uh, circular holographic looking um, table to kind of like help visualize everyone's thoughts. So, we were brought in through the mirror that we mentioned earlier, because we're looking for Juella, who had used it to escape into her deepest desires, as was the point of the mirror. And apparently it took her to this world, where she is an archfey. My guess is that this world, this mirror, tried to find some her deepest desire to be an Archfey and it like it's almost like it was trying to solve a problem or look for that as the, the reality found this and dropped her in it so you're telling me that this world myself and everything that I've ever known is a construct to the mind of a mad woman do maybe, you, maybe remember, not. Remember, remember when you said existential crisis later? There's... It might not even be that way. Like you've been... You mentioned that you're tethered to this timeline, right? No. Yes. There are other... That means that there are other timelines, right? Correct. So, the mirror might not have just made this world... The mirror might have just taken us to a different timeline. Perhaps. Doesn't make me feel better, but you might be right. Regardless, this is still the world that I live in. Mm -hmm. So, what? You all are planning to... You planning to kill her? What are, what are you here for? We were sent we are by... just... Go ahead. We are here to retrieve an item that she is currently in possession of that makes her about as powerful as Colodora was and take her back to our time alive. Ah. Granted, now that she is mad, probably... She has power, and powerful allies at her beck and call, that's a feat in itself. And how exactly do you plan on getting her back? I'm working on it. Remember, we've been in here for, we've been in this timeline for maybe two hours. Right. About two and a half, 2.45, he says with his uh, key mind feet. Wait. We're already processing a lot. Right. Okay, questions for later. So... If the question is... If this is a construction of her psyche, what happens if you take her out? At that point... Perhaps if she's removed... We go back in some sort of alternate timeline is branched out, or some form of shifting of reality, and this timeline is better for the most part. I don't know. I'm more in the space aspect of things, not much of the temporal things. You see, he pauses and he begins to think for a few moments. Well, I don't know what that will mean for this place, but if I could help you save your timeline, I'd like to. I feel like uh, this may be too far gone. If there's a chance that I can save you all from self suffering the same fate, I'd like to help. So, Flit, who has been standing still, and, you know, she's, she gets up, she walks over, and looks to Adam in the most sincere face possible. You have no idea how much...
much that means to us, and I know it can't be easy. No, it very likely means that this world, this timeline, whatever this is, will cease to exist. Everything here will be gone, destroyed, or maybe it will never have originated to begin with. As far as I am able to determine that this is your future. If I help you now, perhaps we have a chance of stopping that before it even happens. We can only hope. We can only hope. Or, multiverse theory. Quite a bitch, right? But, that's neither here. Uh, don't. Let's not get started with that. Let's not get started with that. So, let's go over a little bit more information so I can sort of help you all get a better idea of what you're dealing with. And he throws up a, another minor illusion, and he, it is pictures of the members of the Hellfire Assembly. All right, let's start with the big one, Marissa, my dear spouse. Prime's most trusted ally, handles all of his relations, and, well... <laughs> the Marissa of your time could not hold a candle to what she is now. Ah, uh, perhaps she's worse. She oh, no. is a lot worse. Oh, God. Super bitch. Aside from... Mega oh. bitch. Aside Ultra from bitch. Prime himself, she is probably one of the most powerful mortals you will find in this in this timeline. Prime bitch. Head bitch. Same day delivery bitch. No. Okay. Damn it. The point has been made. Yes. We yeah. don't like her. That being said, if you are to come across her, it will take everything you can possibly muster to take her down. She is exceedingly powerful, and if she is with allies on her own, I can't imagine the things she's a capable of doing. I don't know where she is now. She doesn't trust me with a lot of her uh, work, but I don't really ask either, so that's fine. So Marissa still sucks. Uh, do not fight her if you can avoid it. If, if you, you have to avoid, avoid it. If you have to avoid, if you have to fight, go all out. Do not hold back, because she won't. Wasn't planning on it. Good. <sighs> That's the big one. He kind of slot like shifts it to the side. Let's go over. Uh, oh, Daddy Dearest. Spice. He and his now rule over the Divine Isles, and he is Nexus's Primes, whatever you want to call him. Nexus Prime. He's his greatest champion. Every semblance of resistance that we have thrown against this man, he has been able to demolish. Not just on his own, either. House Hyannis has basically become nigh unstoppable under the combined might of Bison and, well, you, Rovan. As you can imagine, he got what he wanted, and he cemented his family's legacy. It's bad. It's really bad. Then, there's our dear friend Elrock, who, in his many studies, as I mentioned before, perfected his control over Ariana, and, well, in doing that, was able to submit several of our friends in Corey and Esmeralda. Oh. As you can imagine, having access to divine bloodlines allowed him to create an immortal army of men and monsters. I don't know if you how many fights you've gotten into so far, but if you were to get into a fight with any of the god in pretty much any city anywhere, uh they don't stay down for long. No. It's terrifying. It's no. horrible. They are technically alive, but when they die, well, they just come back. It really fucking sucks, and it makes my job, our job, a lot harder. And the ability to kill them, you 
have to completely obliter obliterate the body or the soul. So, that's great. We love that. Now, he spends most of his time now performing sick and twisted experiments, looking for ways to further cement Prime's rule over this world. I don't anticipate you'll run into him in your quest to find Ruella, but who fucking knows? And then, though, the last two. Oz and Lucian. I know that Oz was, the last time you all were familiar with him, a non-factor. But the truth is, once you gave him back to Marissa, Aurelia, whoever the fuck, I don't really know I wasn't there, every two Oz its place, they brought him back. Stronger than before. Now, the two of them together, they are Prime's hunters. Hunting down and making the example of any and all who would defy his rule. The two of them together have proved to be an unstoppable duo, even bringing Bison and Ravon to the absolute brink on occasion. Alright, so just going forward, uh, we're, we're just gonna, anytime we see something suspicious, immediately pop uh, immediately detect magic and immediately going to uh, do the, the sensey feely thing. Probably not a bad idea. They are incredibly good at what they do. They are incredibly skilled hunters and, well, they're the reason why I had to make sure that they that nobody was on to us. Frankly, they may still find us. I don't know. I don't want to stay around here long enough to find out, but this is vital information. Not, I'll be damned if, if I'm going to have you all miss it. As I mentioned with Jabula, with the help of the Hellfire Assembly, she was able to take Corolladora's spot. With Navellus on the Hellfire's Assembly side, and Corolladora not able to help narrow down the Hellfire Assembly's location, well, we were pretty much hopeless as the Hellfire Assembly struck back. And then there's the big guy. Uh, there's the what? I... Has Druella... Has she enlisted the citizens as her army? None of us have been able to get access to Novillus since it Drilla take took over. Not even Reno. Uh, he's Corbin's definitely like like his the, his heels rapidly tapping up against the floor right now. And then there's the big man, Skull, the leader of the Shadow Sun Orcs. He now ruthlessly rules over the Fierce Lands. He, uh... Well, he basically paved the way for the Hellfire Assembly to take over. Your defeat in the retreat of the Dragon's Reach Guard, army, whatever, basically became the catalyst for everything else to fall into place. This, uh, this was immediately followed by Drula taking over Nobilis. An unfortunate one-two punch. The loss of Theon made things basically impossible to fight back. No matter how. Your bar is actually fine. It's actually thriving, frankly. Theon helped me make it. And she just looks kind of down, kind of sad. Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well. You can all blame Valia for that. Valia is still the High General under Prime's rule. Well, maybe now. If we can get you all back, you all now learning that he is the traitor in our midst. Perhaps we can fight back before things fall apart. But we have to get you there first. Before we... We were... 
uh, on the topic of Valir, do you know why when uh, Ravon was doing the sensi thing, he came up with fiendish energy? Oh, because he is. Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh. No, he, uh, that was a... <laughs> oh, that was a fun discovery. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, as you can imagine, that was not an oversight on the part of Cedric or Fionn or anyone, really. Um, no, that was, that was Hellfire Assembly corruption. Not the, the motive, but the whole fiend thing. Yeah, no, they gave him, uh, incredible power in exchange for his, uh, his long, long years of service. Ah. Okay. Oh. Man's practically a bailor now. Maybe even stronger. Uh, great. Okay, so, like, is... If we go back to our time, is he still fiend? I don't know. Maybe. I'm now really... Wait a minute. I wonder if he actually is. And, uh, Flick gets a sly grin across her face. Can I insight you, Flit? No, she'll, you don't have to. She'll just say it out loud. You know, I bet Dangroz's seat is cold. Oh! oh. <laughs> I like that idea. I have, I have some, some uh, power to spare. I could always <laughs> see if he's available. Yeah, Dangroz. Who is that? Uh, so, don't, don't worry uh, about no, it. no, so, uh, on one of our adventures before we got pulled into this, uh, we encountered one of these, and she just shows off the iron flask, and Dangroz oh. was inside it. Oh. He, uh, he helped us clear up the assault on Dragon's Reach all that time ago, oh, but the point is... Oh! Oh! I heard about this! Yeah, bit. Oh my god, it's a Baylor. Wait. A Baylor? Corvin? Yep. Think we could contact Dangroz by any chance? He did swear an oath. I did already mention that I could give him a ring. Hmm. That might be an avenue to pursue. Uh, questions for later, though. Questions for later. The last thing that really needs to be addressed... Dragon's Reach is now the capital of the world, and is now far more expensive than you may originally remember. Uh, other rulers are allowed to hold their own territories, but only by the grace and mercy of our dear Lord Prime. All others, all other rulers either answer to Prime or, well, suffer the consequences. It's practically a dogma. It's, it's great. We love it. And the fancy little guards that you see everywhere in the red armor, surprise, they're called the Blood God. Real creative with these names, I know. They really needed you on PR. Looks over to Corvin. Uh, up, above game. What's about? What about the blood gods? Uh, the the guards that you'll now see pretty much anywhere are known as the blood, oh. the blood guard. Sorry, I thought you said the blood gods. I'm like, wait, what? I thought you were memeing at first, and then I realized that it no, was a genuine No, question. no, I, <laughs> Like, I'm like, wait, hold, wait, hold the fuck up, and not just me. Yeah. Me too. So, yeah, things are not great. But, well, it seems that we now might have a chance to prevent any of this from happening. Right, we could get you to Drilla. I will admit this is going to take a bit of convincing from my friends. But I don't see why not. Frankly, if Drilla is the source of all of this, I personally would prefer to just go to her directly 
and not have to walk up the ladder of the Hellfire Assembly or the Blood Talents. I prefer that as well, but frankly, we have no idea what we're dealing with in Navillus, and... Haha. <laughs> uh, if you all were to perish here and things were to go terribly wrong, I don't want to dismantle this whole operation, this entire resistance we have going, and ruin our one chance of fixing things for a blind guess. But that's not my call. I need to get you all to the others. Yeah, that sounds like the right. best. The more resources we have in one place, the better. He kind of puts oh. his hands up to stop you. Do you hear that? Everyone make me perception, perception checks. Heh, <laughs> 12. 28. 20. 8. Give me one moment. Second concern. No, I want this. As you all are having this conversation, Lily Full and Flit, you both swore for a moment you heard a voice not belonging to anyone in this room. A voice outside. And as Adam sort of pauses and you all get quiet for a moment, you all hear the sound of footsteps above you. Two pairs of, foot of footsteps. Footprints, footfall. Shit, they're here. How'd they get here so fast? The on, or not the on. Adam turns to the door and goes, Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, I need to get you all out. What you do? I will do my job and I will make sure that they don't follow you, but I need to make sure you get out of here. Is there another way out? He goes over, as he's saying this, he goes over towards the back of the room and he starts shifting uh, a couple crates over to the side. Ravon, help me move this. to the crates. As you and Adam are beginning to shift the crates, a few of you here. I know you're here! No, fuck off. I've been ever so curious about these rebel impersonators. Fuck, God damn it! how did... Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. And as you two working together shift this pile of crates to the side, there appears to be a tunnel. You guys need to go. You need to get out right now. I'll distract them. Oh, I'll, I'll do what I can. It's a good thing we're still disguised. Do you think your dis a disguise is going to stop them? Well, they won't see... The, the masses won't see us. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, regardless, you all need to get out now. Go! Go! Going. Already out the door. Uh... I don't know if it'll help, but I'm doing this now. 
pass without trace. Okay. Thank you, Flit. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, Flit. Donka. As you guys begin to shuffle into this tunnel, leading who knows where, Corbin, you are stopped by Adam as he puts his his hand on you. Before you go, I need to give you this. And he hands you a pocket watch. Wait, is that like his dad's pocket watch or something? Smile. Oh. I know this he, watch. He'll he'll look at it. Put it like in his uh pants pocket. It's look too... towards Adam. Sorry. It's too late now to do anything for this timeline, but this will be the key to helping you figure out where the Hellfire Assembly are located. You just need to get out of here. Head for the Animus Sanctum. Yo, I... Thank you. Also, that gate that you put up, yeah, that was not easy to figure out as he just leaves. He doesn't even say anything. He just begins shuffling the uh, the crates back over the tunnel, and anyone, as you guys are continuing down this tunnel, you will, a few of you will hear the sound of a door get kicked in. Ah, gentlemen! <laughs> oh my, my gods, you scared the two of me. I, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I wasn't anticipating guests. And then you hear another familiar voice. Of Lucine Silverback. Lord Acosta. Where are they? I'm sure I have no idea who you. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I agree, Nugget. My dog started barking. Oh, he's not going to tell us anything. Let's just be done with it. No. If these impersonators are working for the resistance, then perhaps this one's usefulness has gone to waste. I'm I'm sorry, I have don't bullshit me, Akasa. We know you've been working for the resistance. We have known for quite some time. I uh have you now? Well, I guess that means I can do this. And you both, you all hear an explosion erupt behind you. The very tunnel you are in shakes. Rocks begin to fill the tunnel behind you. But you all must keep going. I'm gonna fucking strangle my dog here in a second. Strangle him with love. No. No, love. No. Love. As you guys continue on your way, you eventually find the tunnel ends at what appears to be a sewer tunnel. You all proceed. I imagine yeah. that we keep going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. You all empty out into the sewer tunnel, and looking behind, you can see a ways that the tunnel has collapsed, keeping any pursuers from falling behind you. But the fates of Adam, Oz, and Lucian unknown. Sanctum, huh? So it took back, let's just continue to run. Where are we going? Says Diana. If they're on to us, we need we can't stay here. Corvin, do you have 
anything on any idea of where we could possibly go. Sorry, I'm out. Um, mouth, mouth was full. Stop eating sewer cakes. <laughs> I love. I'm not fucking <coughs> responding to that. Sorry. Um. <laughs> Valid. Okay, so... If, if we get a minute, uh, I could do a teleportation circle since I don't have a teleport today. I can bamf us to wherever. Does the Animus Sanctum have one? Yes. It does. It does have one. I think I have plenty of chalk. I don't know if how held up they are. How long do you need? I only need a minute. Hang on, let me double check just so I'm not talking out my own ass. Yeah, I just need a I just need one minute. Everyone, hold up. Let's make sure we can finish the circle. Hi, Nug. Hi, Buddy. Hello, Mister. So, Corvin, you are going to start doing teleportation circle. Yes. Okay. What about the rest of you? <sighs> um a good thing to... How can I help? Okay. I think I've got an idea. Uh, so where... This sewer, what is it made out of? The walls appear to be made of cobblestone. Um, you can hear the sounds of footfall on the city streets above you. You can see the, the brickwork and the stone above you. Uh, there are columns as well that sort of keep the 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 uh, the roof, if you will, above your heads. Okay. Columns as well as the walls, obviously. And how big's your circle? Uh, ten foot. Ten foot diameter. Ten foot diameter. Ten okay. foot diameter. That is that is just enough. Whew. It's just small enough. Mm. I think I have a way that I, I can hide this, so it's not just in the sewer. Does anyone have a hallucinatory terrain or anything? No, I don't have that up. But I did make sure to take both oh, of these. Fuck. Transmute rock and stone shape. And also mm. wall of stone. Mm. I'm thinking what we could do to help cover our tracks. We burrow into the wall. We make a little cubby. Make the circle in there. And just seal it up. would be pretty hidden. What do you think, gang? I don't know. Yeah, sounds fine. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm down. All right. All right. I'll, uh... I'll do it then. I'll... Ca First, I'll cast Transmute Rock to carve out kind of this, uh this small area that you can go into and make this. And then I'll follow up with Wall of Stone and seal us inside. Okay. You guys have sealed inside, sealed yourselves inside. You now have this uh, 10 foot by 10 foot sort of cubby inside the wall hidden from the outside perceiver. 
You are now in Minecraft. You are in Terraria. Whichever <laughs> you prefer. You are inside of, of a crafting mining game. Stardew! Stardew! So, Corbin, you have uh, the perfect amount of space to craft your circle. Takes out the chalk and begins furiously uh, writing it down. If there's not a spot that's solid enough, he will pre use prestidigitation to kind of make it solid, like by, you know, cleaning up any, like, gunk or anything, since, you know, sewer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's, he, he, uh, one minute, pop. Okay. As you are approaching the end of this one minute, doing this circle, a couple of you with higher passive perceptions, I would say anyone with an 18 or higher, you would hear through the wall that you just came through. Oh, where did they go? Where could they have gone? Why are you asking me, Lucian? How am I supposed to know? If you hadn't fucked around and just killed the goddamn traitor. Oh, whatever. It's... We'll figure it out. Let's pick the trail back up. Four minutes around this time you finish your circle. Bip, bop, dap the chalk, and fucking beam this the fuck out of here. Okay. And yours was centered on the Animus Sanctum, correct? Yes. Okay. You guys warp away. Now, again, jumping continents from Devlar to the Ashen Veil. Vale. Let me go ahead and change your music. When they get back in, Corbin's just going to say, I hope this works. I only have one left for today, and I don't want to get stuck in a place. As you guys arrive in the Ashen Vale, you expect to arrive within the Animus Sanctum. You are very far, very uh, familiar with the structure. Uh... You guys have been in it uh, several, several times. You especially, Corey. And so you guys are a bit surprised when you appear in what appears to be a crater. Oh. No. Oh. Oh, dear God. A massive crater. I don't have hope. Steven. What? You guys look around you can see that the entirety of the sanctum has it's just gone it's just a big old hole in the ground no structures nothing you guys have been dumped about 30 feet into the ground maybe even deeper and yet you look down and there is a teleportation circle that's weird Hmm. Wait, so are we hovering? No. You're in the crater. You're just at the very bottom of this crater is a teleportation circle. It's almost like the t somebody came in after the temple got destroyed or disappeared or what have you. Somebody went in and put in a teleportation circle. That's suspicious. Can I take a look around? I know we're in a crater, but I'm officially in, uh, something is amiss mode. Sure. Make me investigation, arcana, perception, whatever you're feeling. Whatever suits your fancy. Going with the big P. Big P. 30. Cool. You're in a crater. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> No, for real, though. You look around, and like I said, it's it's very barren, which is a bit odd to you, because you, you get the feeling that if the temple was destroyed, 
if it had been attacked, that there'd be something, anything. There's nothing. It's completely barren. It's aside from this, the only, uh, the only clue that you are getting that presents that something was here is the hole in the ground. Hmm. The wheels in my head are turning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Anyone else so, who wants to make a check can as well. Uh, what was the parameters again? Uh, Arcana, Investigation, Perception, whatever you're feeling. And you can make any check with re within reason. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> Persuade the crater. I convince the crater to rebuild itself into the Animus Sanctum. <laughs> I wish to athl I wish to athletic the crater back in. Corvin, with a twenty-two arcana, this definitely seems weird. This, uh, like, kind of like with what Flit was determining, if that if magic or if something was used to destroy the temple, it would either have to be insanely powerful or it's not what did it there would be something here there's not it's gone there's nothing could i determine that they teleported the animus sanctum out this plane you could think that yeah i won't tell you if you're right but you could come to that conclusion it would fit within that 22 arcana. You see weirder shit. Hell, you know of cities that can fucking warp between planes. I was gonna say, that's where I'm fucking from. Yeah. Uh. Corbin will just mention that. They could have moved the tempo and placed it somewhere else. Which means if they did that, we'd have to find it again. Could we use this teleportation circle to get there? We were focusing on on what we normally know as the, the first place. Is this actually just like the front door? Technically, no, because when it comes to teleportation, it only works between two circles on this plane of existence. Uh, we would have to use plane shift to go to the animate sanctum. Granted, we don't know if it's off, off plane, or still in plane in its own demi dimension, or what's where it's at. As you guys are having this conversation, another voice pipes up. Flick, can I have you read that uh, that thing I just sent you in character? I'll be honest. I perhaps thought that Adam was playing a twisted joke. You guys look to your flit, thinking it was from them, but the voice was farther. And looking around, turning further into the crater, you guys see an older, more intricately dressed, sort of scales degraded a bit very tired looking flint and on that note that is where we're gonna end for tonight oh oh yeah Good boy. double flint double flint we're used to well we're used to what double flint with with her and toshi triple quad flint. flint quad, quad flint. flint quad, quad flint <laughs> Uh, Look, Ravon, we're quadsies. Welcome to hell, everyone. Flint, you can do this now. Hey, hey, guys, welcome to the worst case scenario. I hate this. <laughs> Same. Honestly, like. Good. You're not like, supposed it to like, like it. 
It sounds like we're about to do some fucking uh, crackdown level shit, defeat all the fucking bosses before we go to the fucking main <laughs> boss, or else we're going to get our asses wrecked. Uh, more like, more of an Assassin's Creed style thing, but I see what you're getting at. Mm. <laughs> Nothing is permitted. This universe sucks. Take us home, <laughs> country roads. Welcome to post-apocalyptic flit. Post-apocalyptic. No, no, I tried. I, I know. I thought about saying it too. It just did not come out. <laughs> but it's all just a flick in time. We a will flick in have time? to see next week what becomes of our dear, dear party now that they have reunited with one of their own. An odd feeling, certainly. But thank you all for being here tonight. We appreciate you stopping on by. Let's go ahead and do some outros. Let's start with... Uh, We'll start with Flit. CG. Hello, you can find me nowhere except maybe in the post-apocalyptic future. Uh, Welcome to Because <laughs> uh, I don't much care for social media, especially X. X can suck Thunder it. Thunderdome! Uh, but you can find me on various Good Beans D&D channels such as twitch.tv slash Burnout Vaughn, where we do uh, our Strict Haven slash Save by the Spell campaign every other saturday we had a session last week uh to make up for one that we missed a little bit ago uh where we fought a dragon that was fun uh but you can also find me on uh you can also find me there for the rest of this month and maybe a little bit into august on the same channel on thursdays where i theropod art our own wonderful punk yard dog, the Citric King, and uh, the Citric King, Vaughn, of course, and the recently joined Miss Tweedums are all partaking in Pack Tactics 2, in which we are. Uh, the party is currently in. Hell? Dwarven politics. Hell. Yep. Uh, but on top of that, Last thing for me to show for D and D is this coming Tuesday. What's coming up this coming Tuesday? Why it is the return of uh, our old Tuesday group? Except now, instead of Barovia, we're in Ravnica, baby. Rascals in Ravnica, let's go! But that's it for me. Uh, I throw it over to. I throw it over to River. That's me. You can find me at twitch.tv slash wickedriver97, where I'm still on a fucking hiatus. But guess what, bitches? I'm moving! Let's go. Uh, that hopefully we're going to hear back from the place tomorrow. Um, and that means within the next month, I will be moving up to Michigan. So I'm very excited for that. It's a fucking long move uh, for the entire household. So... Um, I'm still taking donations for that. It's not necessary, but we're getting by. So anything and anything helps. But I am going to be back hopefully by the end of August. And I'm going to send over to Joe. Because I didn't I get to so yell at uh, mine enough today. Just saying, Michigan. Yikes. Fuck off. Uh, it's hi. Fair that it's Michigan, though, since since there's the yeah, fucking rivalry yeah, and yeah. yeah. Listen, listen, I'm a Hoosier. I have to hate literally every single side of that surrounds our state. Anyway, uh, hi, uh, I'm Joe. I uh, am going to tell, sit here, and uh, tell you, y'all need to like these videos, subscribe to this channel, okay? So uh, that that'd be awesome. Also, hey, uh, while you're there, while you're at that little toolbar there, hit ring that bell for this YouTube channel because uh, it actually helps. Uh, Tart shows me the metrics every week because I annoy him relentlessly to uh, look at it. And yeah, y'all ain't subscribed enough, so fix that. It's true he does ask me for the metrics every week. Literally spam his fucking DMs like it's mm -hmm. hilarious mm -hmm. to me. He, uh, my door, he gives me a wedgie. Calls me smelly. 
Speaking of things that are hilarious, Jay Frosco. Hi, everybody. Twitch.tv forward slash jfrost 47 You can find me also on Twitter at jfrost 47 or X or whatever the fuck it's called anymore. Don't know. Don't care. No one's calling uh, it X. No one's yeah. calling it that. Shut the fuck up, X, Elon. X yeah. isn't going to give it to you. No, it's not. I, too, subscribe to xvideos.com. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> for, for the I kids that, that are in the X audience, video. do not go. I love that X. Do not Google that. On Twitter do... because of that. <laughs> it's so uh... fucking funny. Elon, you're a fucking idiot, uh... dude. You really are, dude. So... I wonder if I can the watch fuck? the game on there. <laughs> Elon, it didn't work Man. for PayPal, but now this time no one can tell you no, but you're still an idiot. Uh. But hey, man, love. <laughs> you can find me here every Sunday with these lovely goons as we go through this absolute shit fest of a timeline. You'll also find me here Tuesdays. Rascal, Ravican Rascals. I can talk. I, I swear, I am alive. Rasmussels. Rasnaf Rasangam. You can also find me every other Saturday at twitch.tv forward slash burnout vaughn for our Save by the Spell campaign. The party has managed to kill a young adult green dragon and currently is enjoying the spoils of its horde, as well as other things. But of course they have a test to deal with, and let's see if that's even more terrifying. Because, you know, you could fail! But other than that, you'll also be able to catch me every other sometime, just streaming, playing some games with the goons. But in August, uh, specifically August 3rd, me and my lovely spouse are going to be doing our entire run-through of the hopefully fully released Baldur's Gate 3. I am going to commit every war crime known to man. Good I... luck with that. I don't, I'm not sure your uh, spouse is going to let you. It's fine. I can lock the door. <laughs> What are they gonna do? <laughs> Kick down the door? Yes. Yes! Good luck on that one. Every war crime known to man, baby! The Geneva Convention, it's Geneva Suggestion Time! And we're gonna break it all! Like every window! But, you know, that's it. Uh, who is not gone? Punkles. Punk. Here's- take- take this potato. I- I want waffle fries. Mood. We'll make them you then, cut... e. You got the potato. No, it's only one potato. You suck. That will still give you some fries. It's only one! Anyway, you some all can find me on... You all... Shut up. You all can find me on Twitch, Twitter, <laughs> Instagram, <laughs> and sometimes TikTok, at PunkyardDog. Um, hopefully I'll be streaming soon. Um, I'm visiting Jake soon. My Jake soon. Let's um, go! Hopefully, once I'm back and recoup some funds, I can actually start streaming again. Um, I'm thinking of starting back with the Zelda and going through the games. I'm making that just like a weekly, that way I have a schedule, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. Good I'm pack. in your house. I'm in your cupboards. Punk, when are we finishing like Yakuza? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We need to finish Yakuza. Yeah. Look, we also need to finish The Evil Within, so... Oh my god, you're right. Fuck. Yeah. You know what? I, I'm changing your schedule. That's the first thing we're doing. <laughs> That's the first thing we're doing. You know is we're gonna wait, have which to one? Do, right? Which one? You, you know what we're going to have to do, right? Which one? The first? Both? I don't know. But you know what we're going to have to do now, right? We're going to have to restart it again. I don't want to restart the Evil Within. <laughs> no! No! Yeah, Not again! Nine, it's fine. This What's will the be worst the third that can time. happen? I don't want to do it again! It could no! No! <laughs> Just casually restarting the game for the fourth time. I think this it's the is fourth third time. time. Third time? Okay. Jesus fucking God. Oh, Punk, please, <laughs> please never change. I adore you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Um, do we show Sarah since she's not here? I, I was going to do it. Okay. Uh, Sarah, unfortunately, was not uh, with us tonight. 
Uh, but you can find them at twitch.tv slash uh, wolfstalker16, um, where they don't really stream. They, uh, If they were here, they would be showing Kozguk at twitch.tv slash Kozguk, who is a very uh, a very nice coffee bean. Um, but yeah, bean. yeah, yeah, I guess that just leaves me. Bye, punk. I love you. No, you. Bye, uh, punk. Uh, but yes, hello. It is me, the pooting pastry, the farting tart. Uh, I've, I'm back from a bit of a hiatus. I had a rabbit in town, and I was uh, I was rat-grabbing them, you see. Uh, and I figured it was a good time to take a bit of detox away from the internet. Uh, but we're coming back now. We're doing things. Uh, I have some incentive stuff that I still need to do from the subathon. Uh, but you can see me in the, uh, in the future doing other stuff. Like, I'm going to, uh, for example, I'm going to be starting up a, a Fallout New Vegas playthrough soon. Game was right from the start. With, with mods. Wait, really? And Ooh. maybe a randomizer. I don't know. The randomizer is still kind of out there. But yeah, no, I've, I'm just like, I want to be Lord Death and Murder Mountain. So, yeah, we're going to, Take we're going to be maybe doing that in the, in the near future. Uh, but yeah, uh. <laughs> Big iron on his hip. I see Bond right your now said he was doing he was doing nothing but nothing than grab nothing but grabbing, I think is that what that's supposed to say? There he was, was there, doing not then grabbing. There was violent shaking. There was violent shaking. I did violently shake Bun, that is true. But yeah, uh you can also find me this week on several other friend channels for other D D stuff. Uh tomorrow you can find me on twitch.tv slash Jake for uh the hunting of the dairy queen we have rascals and ravnica here on tuesday uh you can find me at twitch.tv slash trash king risen on saturday for Shrey acapella provided that we have a game this week uh my life's a mess i have a full-time job as well fuck my life uh <laughs> my life is a mess but i'm getting through it i'm getting through it and i'm doing great i'm killing it i'm slaying i i slay queen uh yeah they're also you bad bitch you do bad i bitch do things. be a bad bitch uh yeah but other stuff coming in the near future uh also we may be starting up the cute lock soon again smile uh i may stream tomorrow before uh how to get the dairy queen so if i do be on the lookout for that uh t if i do tomorrow it'll probably be more uh my rises nugget but yeah so with that being said, we're gonna rain Nero because Nero is stinky. We're gonna we're gonna call him a stinky limbzard. So everyone, go show Nero some love. He's currently playing Street Fighter Six. Uh, bark at him. That's pretty much it. Just bark at him. Rain message. Bark 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 bark. If you have if you have tart bark, bark at him. But yes. Thank you all for joining us. We will be back next week for another episode of War of the Shared Sun, where our party is in hell. So thank you all for joining us. We love you all so, so very much. And remember, as always, Black Lives Matter, trans rights are human rights, AR art is not real art. You are loved, you are valid, and most importantly, you matter. Love you all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! See ya! Bye! Adios! <laughs>